Welcome to another exciting edition of The Raven's Flock. Yahoo! That's right, folks. It is Saturday, February 17th. We're just in the middle of the second month in 2024, and we are uh, in the middle of the final stages of winter. It's as wet. It's wet right now in Florida. I'm pretty sure it's uh, not as wet as everywhere else, but don't worry. It's moist. Spring is coming around the corner. So we have it's spring? squelching. Is it really? I thought it was eh, summer. I thought it's it was kinda, summer. It's kind of like summer, but like a day or two, you get some wind. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's the only so difference. You mean Floridian spring? Yeah, Floridian spring. Uh, right. You yeah. mean summer? Exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> summer. All right. It's squelching outside. All right, all right. It's, it's squelching. Cold. And then it's going to turn hot, and then we're going to complain even more. Yes. All right. I'm your. Ho- I'm the host of this show. I'm Jose Casabona. I'm also the host of Wrestle Rewind, and I am the founder, executive producer, and content manager of this channel, and we appreciate all of you tuning in right now. Juan, quit being immature. I can be immature all I want. Y'all get, uh, get to be immature set all the time. Set an example. I do set an example. You don't listen to it anyway. But I learned it from you, Dad. No, you didn't. <laughs> you learned the opposite from me. And joining me on my f- uh, closest left, your right, is the host of Los Amigos Play, Mr. Angel Mendez. Thank you, everyone. Once again, my sincerest thanks and gratitude for taking the time to join us today. The weather may be troublesome, but our spirits are buoyant and our hearts are filled with light. It's buoyant for because you. of the wetness outside. They're buoyant because we like big titties. Buoyancy. I mean, they do keep us afloat. Exactly. And joining us on our far left, your right, is Dragon Fang Cosplay. Hi, guys! Awesome. And and joining us on the far right, your left, is Zayana Rose Cosplay. Hi! And I'm so glad that we have separate mics so we don't have to keep playing Hot Potato. <laughs> yeah! No, hot Potato, I, Hot Potato. Who has for, Hot Potato? For, for the record, like we're going to get Zayana and uh, Dragon Fang... Better mics. mics! We're going to get them the same mics that we got over here. By the way, thanks again to Carisi Randasama for getting these. Thank you. They're using the old mics for now until we can get them new ones. Exactly. It's okay, I have the purple And join me on my media yes. right is... Hang on. I can't do this. Angel? Oh. It's your turn. Oh, el no. huésped de los archivos negros. El compañero de la luchadora durante los miércoles del tag team. El señor que trabaja para mantener todas las máquinas manejando después de cada día, cada semana. El señor Juan Arauz. Thank you for that introduction. Wow. Don't you ever forget the Mr. Wow. Sí. That, so you guys know... I wasn't privy to this. <laughs> See, uh, you know, it would have been better if you literally had the translations right underneath yes. it. It's well, we don't have a way to we don't have a way to auto generate the ta- the caption of the AI. Too bad. The this entire on, chapter is the spanked. folks on YouTube. Well, you know, they, they yeah, can. I was gonna say if they watch this on YouTube, they you can just click on closed caption and it'll translate. Lo siento, will este it, programa entero va a ser en it, español though? por el resto de la semana. No va a cambiar really? nada constantemente. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. En cuadrovisión. And uh, thank you, Angel, and thank you for, even more for not forgetting the Senor. Si. Senor. <laughs> and much senor. like all the other shows on this channel, we are simulcasting on YouTube senor and on a stick. <laughs> senor on a stick. Grand Metal League. <laughs> oh, my God. Hit the subscribe or the follow button on the bottom right corner of your screen. Click the bell icon to enable all the notifications. Leave your questions and comments below. And we'll answer as many as we can. And if you wish to go above and beyond to support the Raven's Flock, then you can become an inner flocker. For $4.99 a month, you'll have access to all the perks that comes with our membership. Juan, tell them. Well, for all the inner flockers we've got in our chat, and I know we have plenty, go ahead and show off the those membership badges and custom emojis, letting everybody know that you're stepping up in order to help rescue the Raven's Flock from the cust- uh, clutches of late-stage capitalism and help us become full-time YouTubers. We don't want to die soullessly in a desk job that we hate. We want to die happily in front of you in a job that we love. We would actually like to do this full-time. I'm sure that Angel, as much as he enjoys being in in his in his uh, uh, work office, would rather not have to waste uh, nearly half a tank of gas every day just to get there Come instead on. he'd waste about a 16th of a tank coming here i'm considering transitioning to work in a morgue once this office job works is done it's really <laughs> horrifying so i can see my clients after they refuse to listen to me and i can just look into their corpses wow <laughs> well that escalated quickly Angel and i will caress their faces and go Bitch, I told you. <laughs> no, it's no, it's worse. You'd be it's giving them the little Lex Luthor treatment he gave Zod. <laughs> look, look, you, you flew too close to the sun. Now look at you. <laughs> I'm the sun. I put out a copy of Wind Dragon of Rap. Boom. That's what you get. 
uh, like, tr uh, trust us, we really would prefer to continue doing this full time for you guys. And as uh, and many of you guys can spread the word and help us raise the numbers and subscription ship to the Raven's Flock, that'll help go a long way. You'll also get access to members for some members only content, a special discount to our merch store, link in the description below. And you also get access to us, the Raven's Flock, your favorite Motley Crew nerds, here to make your voice our mission by providing us your thoughts, your input, your feedback, your ideas on how to better shape the future of this channel to support your tastes and your needs. I'm going to go ahead and say hello to the folks in the chat. A up there. Nikki Bella, Aaron Cooper, D Nice, Santi. I'll be a member again sometime down the road. We appreciate it, D Nice. There's no commitment. We're not committed like that. We got an open door relationship. It's all good. Project Metal Music. Uh, Lisa Boo's up in the chat. Hey, hey up there, Lisa Boo. Who else is up in this? Thank boo? you, all of you. As usual, nice your dancing. presence brings Let me see. us together. And Kyle alive. Canada, I'm so down for this. We appreciate you, buddy. There's Cody C. Randosama. Holy crap, see? a Shut wild out. Canadian. Uh, let me take a look over here. A wild Canadian uh, has entered the chat. I'm in Mysterious love, man. I love no X-Men so much. Hey there, everyone. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, a lot of my friends and high school classmates from back in the day we were special needs students. We felt like we were indeed X-Men because we all had special gifts. My boyfriend and I are super excited, especially since he started painting wa uh, Warhammers. Nice. Uh, Girl Girl is my character. Rogue has always been my favorite for the comics. Very you nice. are clearly a lady of class and taste there. Dude. Nice. Yes. Very I good. About to get hit hard again. culture as well. Dude, my tongue would have been swelled saying all, <laughs> saying all that in Spanish. <laughs> oh, dear Lord in heaven. We're about to get hit hard again in Los Angeles with rain. Uh, oh, my condolences. Oh, no. Mr. Sucks. Geek Me Out. Hey, up there, Mr. Geek Me Out. Welcome to the Raven's Flock. We appreciate you guys. So, all right. You know yeah. what? We don't mind. And of course, let us not forget that this has been brought to us by the delicious and ever-refreshing taste of Glitch Energy. We specialize in giving you not only the amazing power of energy itself, but also hydration in multiple flavors and delicious colors they are here for you and for me. Because more importantly, we don't give a crap about the healthy benefits, I care about the fact that it tastes good. Remember this, people, we'll sell it to you because we like it. I am holding in my hands the Guava Warfer limited time, sadly not available for the time being. It's back, actually. Oh shit, never mind! Oh, it's back! back. Yeah. 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 Right now! Yeah. We are so back, bros. I don't know if they still have the berry plume available, but this one was limited edition also. And here's one of the classics. Nerdies, nerdies is the best. Nerdies exactly. is the best. Maui punch, is, Maui punch. Maui Punch is nice and Jose. The container that I'm holding right now is from the Revive series of Glitch Energy, which is a which is a which is a series of hydration drinks to, uh, for, to replenish your body. And so this one I'm holding is a specific combination of blackberry lemonade. So Very as you nice. can see, these folks over at Glitch Energy do not mess around. They load you up with Zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories, and zero crash. And if you go to glitchenergy. Whoops. Whoops. That's my personal thing. Hang and on. If, and if you head over to glitchenergy.com and use the promo code FLOCKFUEL, you'll receive a 20% discount on all of your online purchases. By the way, check this out. They, they just cracked this one. yesterday. Oh. This one's blood orange flavor. Oh. Influenced by the Cecil. Oh, I love you need to get it. You need to get it. Need to get it. The Cecil, apparently, it's a video game. It's a, it's like a survivor zombie game of some kind. I think it what? might be a Steam game. Yes, the and the one that I'm drinking right now is the one influenced by VTubers, apparently. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> do you okay. want to enjoy the refreshing taste uh, of real uh, anime girl? We need to get that. Zayana, I we need to get think that. Uh, I'll buy that tonight. We need to get it. Ha, yeah. I get it. It's the C, to mm. C toxin. Uh, uh, ha, toxin. Get it. Uh, Instead of the uh, T virus, ha, Z toxin. Uh, okay, that's uh, cute. I would love uh, that because. Uh, Sis and I really love blood orange. Very nice. Nice. No, no, so, do but, enjoy the delicious taste of Glitch Energy. Remember, we're not here just for the health benefits. We're here because it tastes good. And the iconic words of Shaquille O'Neal, if I don't like it, I ain't gonna sell it to you. And like Jose said, these guys don't just stop at uh, uh, keeping you uh, uh, energized. They also have their hydration line, which is Jose's signature over here. He loves the blackberry lemonade. They I would never stop at one. I would personally try out the the cherry limeade one that they've got over here. I'll, I'll be I'll be sure to try that out in the future as well. But and, and they also have nutritional supplements as well, uh, ranging from the energy blend to stuff that helps uh, uh, you with your uh, immune uh, 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 immune uh, system boosting uh, to know. Tropics over here that help you uh, uh, concentrate harder to God mode, which apparently is a natural testosterone booster. So there's not, it's not like human growth hormone. No, to reduce your testosterone on your own, here's a little leg up. So, yeah, if you want to get harder, better, faster, stronger, then God mode's there for you. Okay, Clearly, that's what Roman Reigns is using. Hormone, though. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Soon we'll come out with the steroid flavor, and then things are gonna get real good. All right, so yeah, sponsors okay. over, and now let's get let's get to it, folks. Yep. So thanks again, Glitch Energy, for partnering with the Ravens Flock. You guys are stuck with us. You made a terrible, terrible mistake. All right, all right, now. I don't think so. All right, so in this in this group, a show of hands. Who here remembers waking up and watching awesome Saturday morning cartoons? 
Those were the days. <laughs> Those were the days indeed. Yeah, man. I mean, who could forget such such amazing 90s classics? Are we actually like, like waking up early? Well, it I'm, depends. Pokemon. 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 Pokemon that's Sailor Moon. Jackie Chan. Uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. Original Foster's Beyblade. Home for Imaginary Friends. Yay. Yay. That's Blades. fine. Yep. Men in Black, the series. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The Godzilla yep. animated series, right? Yes. Skeleton yes. Warriors. Mighty 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 the original Thundercats. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. SWAT Cats. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. See, that's why That's why. whenever you send us to go above and beyond when we do that, I I shifted to Zeo morphing over here. I do the freaking thing for Power Rangers Zeo. That was always been my favorite. But yes, all excellent examples of uh, different my- cartoons we watch every Saturday morning went back in the 90s. They're all great. They're all awesome. But there is one cartoon specifically that I believe holds a corner- as a cornerstone for national television. And that cartoon series is the X-Men. To me, my X-Men. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, guys. We... We barely watch that. Well, you yeah. suck. But anyways, the X Men oh, got it. Yeah. What X-Men. about X Men Evolution, the high school spin? That one's a, that, that one's good, good. But let's pay some respect to the original. Of course, this is what we're talking about here today. Now, inspired by the iconic Stanley comic, of course, handling the important Excelsior. Uh, yeah, X Men got its start on Fox Kids back in 1992, and with uh, premiering the first two parter, The Night of Sentinel Part One and Part Two. Yes, it was a fantastic show introducing not only the idea of fuck yeah, people with superpowers fighting evil people and other giant robots, but it also highlighted the idea of coming into some very strong social commentary. After all, the entire deal of the X-Men has always been the fight against discrimination, against those who are different, regardless of creed, race, and whatever other topical content you wish to align with it nowadays. Needless to say, the X-Men have a very strong feeling of applicability, in that the idea of being persecuted for something that you have no control over is one that, unfortunately, a lot of people are very, very familiar with. If not exactly to the same extent of being able to, you know, shoot lasers from your goddamn eyeballs, but the feeling is there! But the feeling is but there. You get, like, you guys, you, you get, get the, the idea. idea. It's you know, there. Being discriminated for things you cannot control, like being Canadian. Also, oh, that's terrible. Oh, I know, what a shame. Do- what the hell, man? <laughs> but like, can you imagine that? Actually, actually, I can. The mark of the leaf upon your skin and knowing that you will never be seen as a fellow human being again. For shame. Actually, you know what's oh, another wow. interesting fact about this? And Juan, you can fact check right now if you want. Eh. But apparently, this was the pet project of the president of Fox, uh, of, uh, of Fox back, uh, back in the early 90s. Like, oh. she was uh, pretty much risking her career and putting out uh, the X-Men animated series back in the early 90s because nobody else wanted to do it because of, you know, the content that's in the uh, cartoon series. Yeah, not just the content of the series. There's also the fact that it was trying to be a genuinely serious action cartoon series tackling those topics. And let's not lie to ourselves. The West, in general, has a very spotty relationship with animation. Remember, they were so afraid of, uh, was it the Snow White or the Beauty and the Beast, that the Academy created a whole new category just to make sure that animated films wouldn't win an Oscar. Taking animation as a serious medium has been a constant, non-stop goddamn struggle in the industry, and it doesn't help that the industry keeps sabotaging itself. So, bringing in an action show, purely action show, like there was very little actual comedy in the X-Men cartoon, that tackles some very heavy social themes about, you know, discrimination, exploitation, and people that were once victimized becoming the very monsters that they claim to destroy. Case in point, Eric Lenscher, a.k.a. Magneto, the master of magnetism. This master of mag- Well, not just him. There were many, many members of his brotherhood that pretty much went through the same thing. The idea that a show had the way to tackle such a level of nuance and discussion, and more importantly, pointing out that no side is clear black and white it's something you were not most people were not ready to see that on animation during that time let's be honest they still treat animation like it's a poo poo little for thing for the children no Look at the ain't. colorful costumes and all the explosions yeah, definitely for the children sure uh-uh. yeah sure. But, the, no. but but at the time you know the president yeah yeah but you know what it is it's a way to feed the ideas to the children of, yeah. hey remember don't just treat people like crap because they're different Remember and try and be empathetic and try and be understanding, being kind to one another. You, you may know never that know. thing that we were all supposed to do! You may never know when the person next to you is Canadian. So try to be right, Kyle? a good person to others. Because you never know if Canadians are among us. Oh they could be here right now, Angel? drinking your syrup, corrupting your bacon. Call the government! I have an idea! No, I don't. call it... No. And you are losing microphone and, privileges. No, 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 no the can can't. Can we call them the cantinels instead? Angel. What's more important here, more important than Canada, is 
fucking stupidity. Well, yeah, that's kind of a common theme on everybody. Mutant and human alike are pretty fucking dumb. Yes, but, unfortunately, but, we but, are. But, but, <laughs> real quick, yeah, but, uh, struggler. Oh, is a struggler right. over here? Wait, you're missing something, is a. Where did your sunglasses go? Oh yeah, you're right. Holy Whoa. shit! Oh, yes, I got so caught up with the hype. Uh -oh. It's right no, I, I top of the game, top of the switch Diana, pile. Did you kindly reach for that? I thought you wanted to keep them on because and, of humanity. Uh, no, 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 no. You are right. I have to be consistent. Be unbeatable. And thank you to the struggler for being a member for six, six months. months. My dude, thank you, thank you so much. Happy yes. year already. Happy Holy year already. Crap. Holy crap! Oh, Who would yeah. have thought? Anyway, thank you. Uh, anyway, you know the drill. You guys are awesome and become greater. Thank you. Excellent. Man. Now, what as I was trying to say yeah. is that. You know, despite all that, despite the disagreements, like it was still a risk. And at the time, I don't remember her name, but the but the president of Fox, like she gambled on it, and the gamble paid off. And folks love the X Men anime series. Its popularity pretty much generated a exciting and yet weirdly inconsistent movie franchise. Yeah. <laughs> who? Well, I mean, who here remembers the time when Wolverine traveled all the way to Japan? It was a strange time in life. <laughs> he just kind of walked through the ocean floor because he couldn't swim. Who here remember? <laughs> remember that time Solid Snake wrote like a whole X Men movie? Yeah. He wrote two. He wrote he two. Wrote, to be fair though, those two X Men movies, the first X Men movies, almost anybody universally agrees that aside from some aesthetic problems, they were pretty spot on in the casting and the action and the the, the, the overall feeling of X Men. Mar Mar it, Margaret Lesh. Thank you. Lesh. It was after X Men Two. That the franchise of the X-Men movies just kind of began to, like... Skyrocket? Topsy turvy all over the place, because the third movie tackled the idea of, oh shit, we found the cure. And they tried to cram so many storylines in the same film that it ended up feeling somewhat disjointed. And then we got the time travel, which was fine. Which got which, a, a little well, actually, more Actually, no, we had first later. class first, and then we had time travel. And then we, we had, had time, time travel, travel. because... Uh, because there was this dwarf guy who got really fucking salty. He didn't get superpowers. <laughs> he He's still pissed off about his brother and sister banging in in the Middle Ages. Oh come on, let it be, dude. Listen, it was the Middle Ages. The standards were different. Then again, you killed your dad in the toilet. You don't get to complain. But in case. You know what? He's actually he's kind of allowed because his dad tried to kill him like a billion times. Yeah, his dad was kind of a douche. Kind of. He had it coming. Yeah. He had okay. It coming. I think we can all agree that you know after a while, like the the latest. Uh, X Men related content that came out in the past couple of years, uh, Dark Phoenix. They, it kind of, it kind of flopped. Questionable content. Questionable. Co yeah, I say that. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I questionable results. Not never before seen. Just questionable. Questionable results. results. There were a cool, mo a couple of cool moments. Having Kevin Bacon as your villain is always a nice thing. Yeah, that was in first class. That was, that in first was class, cool. Not Dark Phoenix. But yeah, they just kind of. Okay, let's be honest. The moment they brought in Silver. What's his name Quicksilver. again? Quicksilver. Quicksilver. And then just as quickly removed him from the movie because they realized he could literally solve the whole movie. We can't have him here. Uh, go back home, kid. I'm like, oh, the writer ran out of ideas here. <laughs> yep. yeah, it's okay. They're but, allowed. But thankfully, Marvel Studios uh, co has come to realize the best way to, uh, to jump uh, to jumpstart the X-Men franchise again is to go back to square one. That's and right. These guys actually went ahead and they went to the best square to start at square one. And they've gone ahead and and uh, are basically picking up the storyline of the original X-Men animated series. Pretty much where it left off. And they're going to be releasing a new series on Disney+. Plus. Yes, I know. Fucking call shells. I don't give a shit. I'm not a shell. If I were, you better believe we you would have to... better equipment. I mean, you got to at least tell them where it's from so they can find it legally. Ah, but go and on, they're naming on. it, and they're naming the continuation X Men '97. There is such a continuation that they brought back every single voice actor who wasn't already dead just to do this. Did they bring back the original creators? Uh, kind of, maybe. Uh, let me double check. Like, do we have the original writers and our creators? Let me here? double check. Let me over here. Juan's about, yeah. about to check right now. Let me double check. Let's see. Uh, the uh, producers will make a little bit of phone. Okay, let me see here. But yeah, while Juan's uh, checking, there is a two-minute video trailer that okay, Disney, that Marvel Studios there, put out but... advertising X-Men 97. And yes, it is continuing from where the original series left off. And yeah, judging from the trailer, like everything looks pretty solid, right? So far, animation-wise, it looks interesting. So far, uh, voice acting-wise, music-wise, mind you, it's only a trailer. We don't know the whole deal. It's just a trailer. It looks pretty fun so far. However, however, this is the internet, always a however. and I swear to God, if I do not find something to bitch about, then this would not be the internet. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. We create things more horrifying than the Sentinel problem could ever hope to be. 
So well, of course you'd think that the Sentinel program would actually uh, 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 would have actually been uh, uh, du- like it's one of those it's dumb enough to work and then oh wait it worked too well a little too well me thinks that's how you got the Days of Future Past I'm pretty sure that's where Cable's from but yeah. we'll get to that later dude I gotta I gotta be honest with you in that uh, time travel movie with the Super Sentinels I was... I don't get the post apocalyptic part Angel so... it's this simple. The Super Sentinels there, they basically, the, the, the freaking AI system for them evolved enough like, oh, hey, we're not just detecting mutants that are already alive. We're detecting non-mutant humans who carry dormant mutant genes. So just in case, zap. zap. Oh, man, yeah. they fucking suck at coding these things, dude. No, they did. No, they didn't suck at it. They did it too well. Then you, well, you should have put like a restraint on the damn thing. No. Or it's cool. Listen. It's, we have to destroy the mutant threat. Guys, remember it's how don't you, just, let's, it, don't you remember what William Stryker says? They're all a disease. Yes. Just like his son that he lobotomized. All right, all right. Fuck yeah, lobotomize your children. No, Angel. But more importantly, do you remember how in Jurassic Park things went wrong because they were too cheap and started making cost cutting measures that completely fuck up the entire process? Yeah. I'm starting to think that's the same thing that happens with the with the with the Sentinels. Like they hire everybody to build the Sentinels, but then they go, you know, programming these things takes too much money. Just uh, get Steve from accounting to like slap some zeros and ones together because every time that the Sentinels don't t- turn humanity is because the programming goes, you know what, you could be a mutant. Zap. No, not it, could be. You have like carry the. There is recession. The way you guys are describing it sounds like Marvel Zap. Skynet. Actually, it, it kind of is. It is. It pretty fact, much is Marvel Skynet. And the, that's how everyone... the Sentinels have their own boss. It's called the Master Mold, and it usually stars like Skynet. You, okay, but we're getting the, off track. Let's get. Okay. I, like, I will get back on track in a moment. I was actually going to finish the the point over here for Angel. The uh, the problem was that there were plenty of humans that were still left who didn't have the mutant gene. Guess what they? Uh, guess what kind of uh, humans they were? What? What? The worst of the worst. Ah. As in the most disgusting, the most vile, heinous, and corrupt, and evil motherfuckers who, thanks to this fucking AI, are in a position of power, are the ones in a position of power. That's how you get the remaining mutants who are still alive, branded and cattled and thrown into incineration farms. But being you saw evil... the incineration farms in the sequence of Days of Future Past? Yeah, yes, it was, I know. It was we... nice and warm. but No, it wasn't! It was horrible! Being an evil piece of shit doesn't exclude you from having the mutant remnants inside your body. If anything, the Sentinels would have turned on them even faster. Okay, okay imagine guys... you're an asshole. Yes. Now I... imagine that there's an AI system that basically wiped out a, a whole bunch of people in the world that basically says, hey, asshole... You're one of the good guys. Oh, fucking awesome! Let me go All be right. an asshole somewhere else. That's okay, gentlemen, let's put a let's put a pin on that for now. Okay. But let's move on. Because they were allowed to free flow. You know what? Those are complex. Issue. You've been free flowing for five, ten minutes. <laughs> Chill. I mean, it. I mean, to be honest though, those sentinels look kind of cool with like this translucent scale skin. That was kind of a dope touch. I like how they became more organic looking after evolving somehow. <laughs> Like a xenomorph made of metal. It's horrifying. All right, but let's go ahead and t- uh, talk about uh, X Men ninety seven. Let's get back to it because okay. we actually do have an article that and Angel's right. The internet exists, and there are things that are stupid and, in that there. are stupid that they have complained about. So or, here's something stupid. Here's something stupid, and and this is something that we do need to talk about right now. Um, I, Juan's about to share an article that's provided to us by Forbes that actually addresses one of the major stupidities. Uh, stupidities. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dignify it and call it a criticism because it's not. Um, oh, stupid banner ad. Please don't click on the banner. <laughs> the headline reads, "Quote: X Men fans push back against anger over non-binary over non-binary character." So this what the actual stop with the banners? <laughs> this must be the work of William Stryker's ad campaign. God uh, damn it, Stryker. He's trying to smother all pro mutant sentiment. Here we go. So this article is provided to us by Kaylee Gleason. Read your stuff. Thank Kaylee you. Gleason, thank you. That was published on February 16th. All right. So Here are our new mutants. They're back. Marvel released the trailer for the highly anticipated X-Men 97 show Thursday, which has since drawn criticism, no, that's not criticism, and subsequent pushback from fans over the inclusion of Morph, a non-binary character. You can see him in the bat. He looks like a training dummy. They, 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 yeah, they, they look like a, uh, not even a tra- oh no, a crash test dummy. Yeah. Hang on, yeah, why won't it, oh, 
You gotta be Just remove the size. We can read it from here. Yeah, no, I wasn't trying to reduce. No, the size. he was trying to zoom in on the character. I was See, trying to zoom in on the photo. Wow. I love the fact figure. that somebody says that this picture shows them in like LGBT clothing. I'm like, no, my dude, that is what people dressed like to go to the gym back in that day. Like they did not you, care that this much. This is the about 90s. It. This was 1997. People did not give two squirts a piss. You know why you know you this is 97? Was... What? Because you can see Wolverine's chest hair. When was the last time you saw a male character's chest muff in today's TV? That is true. Never. Never. Wait, no, his name the, was Henry Cavill. The ah, that's true. All right, here we go. The key facts here. X-Men 97, originally announced uh, in November 2021, is slated to release on March 20th on Disney+, Plus. so next month, and will pick up where the original cartoon left off, with the group reeling in the face of Charles Xavier's apparent death. Damn, apparent. we lost, the, we lost Sordon. Actually, yeah, it was kind of sad. Now, this is the one that folks are zeroing in on. Morph, or Kevin Sidney, is a shape-shifting mutant that was killed off in the first episode of X-Men, the animated series, in the 90s, but eventually returned to work with Minis Mr. Sinister, one of the franchise's notorious villains. Morph is an original character for the animated show, but is a variation of Changeling, a character that originally uh, appeared in the 1967 comic, according to Game Rant. Some comic-centric news sites and YouTube channels, along with posts on Twitter... On Twitter! Fuck you with the stupid act. Criticize the decision saying the show is now ruined by the inclusion of a non-binary character. Mm -hmm. Ruined? F Seriously? Yeah. Ruined forever. Why? It's the Why? worst thing of all time. It's so jobber. It has okay. never been more I jobber than it is now, guys. I'm sorry, but just saying it's ruined just because of that. Um, That's it's a very a, snowflake no, thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. It's the worst very thing of all time. It's ruined Whatever. forever. I can't believe they did this to the show. Every ruined all forever. Of, call the all, Sentinels. We gotta kill them all now. All of animated All of animated entertainment is now ruined it has to be outlawed ruined for it i can't believe they put this on this character that i only saw for three years called the sentinels we made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> fans were quick to defend the decision saying that those expressing uh, fu furor uh miss ah. missed the point of the franchise which has historically been used as an allegory for the civil rights movement and addressed other social issues i mean like, it, it, it kind of it, it, i believe this is called applicability when you can apply a certain work to different themes like zootopia for example like the like what was it oh uh, what who, who who was the one that, i'm pretty sure was it stanley or brian singer who said it that stanley okay no that he said magneto is malcolm x and oh, no, professor no. xavier is martin luther king no neither of them said that hmm? Wait, who said that? Yeah, that was being that was uh, like Who said that? That has been debunked a while ago. I don't know who said it specifically. They ran with it when people made the comparison, but originally they said, "No, no, no. We don't base them on real life people. We base them on our experiences and how we want to reflect those characters." Okay. It just happened that they were pretty close ringers for real life people because like I said, the show has applicability. It's a show that fits on a lot of different themes that somehow work with today's and yesterday's Vices, prejudices, and diversity the, kind the, of thing. The crazy, the crazy thing about it is that that all of the the whole point of the X Men of the mutants of the Marvel uh, uh, pantheon basically came up with Stanley's like, okay, I want to have a team of superheroes, but I can't just have all of them get blasted with gamma radiation or have suits of armor or have magic hammers or have super serums. How the hell am I going to have this awesome team? Discrimination. No, I'll just make them that they're mutants, that they're yeah. naturally born mutants, and I don't need any further explanation. I okay, mean, people great. People do fear Wait. the things they can't understand. Wait, this actually opens up another idea. What if we can use this to talk about shit that's happening now? What's happening right now? Oh. Oh. Yeah, we can talk about that. Oh. In fact, he specifically went on an article explaining that in real life, racism and discrimination are some of the greatest evils we experience, but it's not something you can just punch to death. So you have to show it. You have to show to the world how those people think. Not as a matter of mockery, but so you can understand why a person becomes like that and that you can properly fight against it. In fact, there was an actual, like, uh, what's it called? A uh, panel from the X-Men comic book. Yes. I believe it was Captain America himself holding a frame saying, yes, these people... I mean, he was talking about neo-Nazis, in fact. He says, these people are repugnant in their ideals, but they must be shown into the light. Because in a free world, every idea must be expressed and properly judged by the people around it. Even if those ideas would be repugnant to everybody else. It's, fu it's fucked up, but even if Captain America is saying, hey, you have the right to say this shit, but you, but you are not obligated to have people agree, agree with, with you. you. Exactly. What? The showrunner Bo DeMaio told Empire Magazine... Um, uh, uh, the show focuses on the X-Men being, quote, faced with a future they didn't expect Twitter. And, rep and reportedly said in another interview with the publication that Morph's portrayal is a, quote, 
lighter take on the character who is non-binary and has a, quote, interestingly buddy relationship with fan-favorite Wolverine. Guys, relax. That doesn't mean they're fucking, okay? Calm no, down. no, no. No, no, that's strictly like, between Logan and Jean Grey and Scott Summers. I genuinely <laughs> hate that new twist. Why? I just doesn't feel like... like. Look, she's a bit like... For the last 50, 60 years, Jean Grey has been split between the two of them for forever. How many different... Like, you mean to tell me they wouldn't have just sat down one day and figured it out and thought to themselves, you know what? Why don't we just become a thruple? Yeah, but the problem is that that shit is connected to the most recent storylines, which are complete garbage. Also, good luck getting Cyclops and Wolverine to get along. I'm sorry, man. Like, those men, their personalities are so distinct, I cannot see them agreeing on a relationship with John. It genuinely doesn't... Gene. John, Gene. Gene. With genes. (laughs) It just doesn't make sense. Mainly, like I said, not because I had a problem with the type of relationship, it's because... Their personalities are so clashing with each other that even with John, Gene, John of our <laughs> Gene, you know, even Gene, with, oh even God. with, <laughs> even with Gene all... burning, burning the middle, it do, like they had to change their personalities too much to make it work. Uh, more, actually, I, I, more I, I, I kind of Angel will like, agree with Angel because um, they 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 do clash also, yeah. a there's, lot. There's one bit that yeah. actually doesn't clash on them. They can't and agree on anything. They have, and they agree on one thing. Jesus. They agree on Gene. Yeah, I'm, that being said, there's also the fa- that, there's also the fact Dude. that it fucks with Logan's previous relationship in the comics, which is the How one many? that no, it's the one that the one Japanese woman Noriko, Noriko, the one woman that he ever truly loved until he got amnesia and forgot about her. Yeah, and then he remembered again. Oh. The problem is that he remembered again while this is going on. Do we know? Yeah, no, the comic said so. Okay. So and then, then like I said, this is story she still li- alive? No, she's been dead forever. She's then like, what the hell is he gonna hold a torch for a dead lady for? You mean to tell me that a man can't fall in love again? He's it's lived for a long time, bro. Yeah, I know. He's been around for nearly 200 years. He's lived for too long. Yes, he That's has. That's the one he can't let go. That's part of his character. And yet, every time he uh, he goes to Jean, he's reminded of her and he's still filled with yeah. that same passion. That's the part that bothers me because I cannot... Im- Logan doesn't share, dude. Logan is not going to share and Scott is sure as fucking going to share. I don't see it working. I'm, like I said, this whole thing is also connected to that Krakatoa storyline where the mutants make their own Edno state. Krakatoa? Yeah. That's not the real name, is it? I is forgot it? if it was called that or what Where's idea. I'm not entirely sure, but like apparently that's not there's not much else there's not much else to the article, but I think we can all collectively agree the whole thing about Morph being identified as non binary, that is very, very, very far from being labeled as a criticism. It's Krakoa. I call it, oh Krakoa. Well it's Krakow, Close. right? Close now, enough. see, here's the thing. Morph being non-binary, I think the reason why people are bothered with this is not because of the issue with the character itself. It's because, guys, let's not lie to ourselves. The audience that watched the TV show did not read the comics. In fact, many people were introduced to the X-Men through the TV show, so they only remember Point Morph. in case. Thank Point you. in case. So Point they mostly case. remember Morph as the one guy that showed up making fun of the politician, then he dies and shows up as a bad guy a couple of episodes later. This Morph on the new series is technically more accurate to Comic Morph, who was literally born as a gray blob with vaguely humanoid features. He identifies as a he because his parents want their son, and he's like, yeah, okay, I love mom and dad. If they want me to be this, I'll be this, but... He's flexible. Let's just say that. He calls himself a he for convenience, but he's he changes between man and woman. He's like fucking Looney Tunes guy. He's he he switches, but the, you know, the, the morph switches between male and female in every single panel. In so his, pretty in much their... like gender fluid instead. Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. Yeah. In like it's he, literally he a metamorphing him. human. The, 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 the same arg- like I was. We were even having the same argument regarding Mystique, another well-known changeling in the X Men story. The only thing is that on her end, she's very. She was born a girl. Bur- She's, born female with, gr- she knows with what girly she bits. Is. She knows what she, she wants. She was blue, but she was still girly bits. And she thought, Even if oh, it's blue, yeah. would you not say would? Well, she, die. well, she does. Well, die. well, her transformations are all are very soft and smooth. You could call her gender fluid. Hadum tish bam. Kill you. <laughs> yeah, die. Perish. But yeah, I get where they're coming <laughs> from, but it feels like this is mostly people who remember only the cartoon. Because... Yeah, Morph was basically made for the cartoon. This Morph is essentially an adaptation of Chang. Ironically, I think it would have been better if they had just called him Chan- Channeling. Changeling. 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 Like yeah. it, ironically, if they had just called him Changeling, I'm pretty sure nobody would have given a shit. Yeah, they still have given well, a shit. There would have been like, some oh. dude going, where the fuck is Morph? <laughs> no, they would, have, they would have given a shit because, oh, they're inserting this character. They're making this person. It's not who it is. It's what they're doing. They're like saying that they're non-binary. That's the wokest thing ever. It's ruined for everybody. I don't know. That's when it comes to... But honestly, if anybody could get the non-binary thing, I'd say that the guy who can morph into whoever he wants 
And even Mystique, uh, she can morph into whoever the fuck she wants. True, but exactly. Mystique identifies herself as a woman. She knows what she is. Morph is more like, I was literally born with no features except a mouth and two eyes, so I... Like, Morph is kind of dis disconnected from the binary by virtue of the fact that he was born as neither a zero or a one. He was like the dash in between. He was mm -hmm. two. So he's the exception no, that proves the rule. He was born as a rule. two. Yeah, there you go. He broke he's binary the exception code. that proves the rule because he technically can get away with that. Yeah. I'm just going to miss the original Morph for a while. But like I said, for this guy and this case, I feel like I can let this one pass because it doesn't feel like a proper criticism. Because this Morph... He's like a he's a proper morph, you know. Yeah. He's a he because he's like, yeah, call me he if it's convenient for you, kind of guy. Hello, you, uh, Sh shamanistic unicorn Tam. How you doing? Welcome to Tam the show. Tam Tam's back! Hey, Yay! Hey, hey, hey. 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 Now and yes, we can all. Uh, I so I guess that pretty much puts a pin on the whole morph criticism thing it's by a this dumb stupid. Idiot. Oh no no no, Angel! We got far more serious criticisms that we need to address yes, about X Men ninety seven, do. don't we? Yes, we do. Tell them, Angel, yeah, gentlemen, my fellow Americans. I am here to you with one question only. Where did the ass go? Because <laughs> listen, I can accept Morph being non-binary. I got no problem with my man wanting whatever he wants to be. I can understand that there will be some changes. We couldn't get all the voice actors back. Some of them are sadly no longer with us. But they took away rogues, ass, and titties. And I no, don't they care. Didn't. Just which <laughs> way you swim. I don't care what your orientation is. You, as a fellow hot blooded American, will agree with me that that is a violation of all of our rights and their elections as fellow Americans of this beautiful country. They took away the ass and titties, and that is worse than anything that Stri This is the work of fucking Stryker. <laughs> the Q doesn't <laughs> take away I mean, your William powers. You know what? William Stryker would do. He that. doesn't take away your powers, it takes away your ass and tits. Angel, and I, I will never forgive them for that. Angel, I swear, the way you're addressing it, that sounds like something Deadpool would say. Deadpool would yeah, agree with me. Real, yeah. real quick, we'll, we'll get to Deadpool in a second over here, Jose, because he's, he's coming really up. Deadpool. He's no... I wish I was. Phrasing! <laughs> I wish I was the leader of this world, my Because, like, this, we'll is, this, is what I, this is what they're referring to, folks. I went ahead and I shared the, the image of the trailer for uh, X-Men 97, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what Angel is op and, and Jose are opining upon the loss of. This is not a pine. This is a I mean, more problem. Angel than me. This is a You're the one who Look at that shit. Look at what shit. Give it five. Exactly, it's not there. <laughs> Why didn't it load? Where is it? Give, Wait give for me it. Wait, go. that's the Mohawk they were complaining about? That's yes, that's a... the Mohawk they were complaining about. That's not a problem. It's you like, gotta rewind a still little here. bit, man. Go okay, back. I'm, gonna, I'm going to Where show... Where did the Hold go? on, Angel. <laughs> I gotta show the folks Hell. on the screen here. Uh, We're looking at it, but they don't see it. Exactly. Can't you full screen it? Damn right. We don't a, see. You don't want me to try to full screen this. Do you want to see what happens when yes. I full screen it? Oh, this is what mind. happens when I full screen it, is, eh? I don't know. Oh, I can yes, well. I can see it. You can see it. They but the can't. folks in the, uh, on, on the uh, screen and on TV land and YouTube land watching us can't see that. Exactly. They can't see it because it's gone. If we can have your gender fluid morph, then let me have my TNA uh, rogue. I swear, okay. if somehow they take away the southern accent, I'm fucking giving up. Oh, no, the southern accent's back. The southern accent is there. That's not there. Leave it oh, there. Also, John Gr Jean is pregnant. Yay. Yeah, look at that. Okay. There's Rogue. Where you see the it? boobs? They're under the jacket. You see the uh, the bulge underneath where the boobs separate, Angel. Yeah, I also see that it's like two cups lesser. No, More. it's not. More. It's not two cups More. lesser. <laughs> More. It's the same size, you Idiots! Say, do not do this to me. I'm not doing shit. You, do, you cannot take this from me because if I can give you what you they want, didn't take shit I deserve from you, what you I idiots. want. How come we can you have all the male characters? How come we can have all the male oh, characters chisel like fucking at Greek this point, gods? This is just age old. But we can have some basic TNA in this world. Look at that shit. No, no. Scroll down. Look at it. They even have Jean's head to cover their, her barely existing chest. No, they don't. It's gone. No, they don't, Angel. They Jesus took it away. Angel? Angel? Fuck Angel? you, Striker, you Angel? monster. Angel? As, as a girl. With boobies. That That's pretty well yeah. endowed right there. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. I'm not talking about a girl. That's okay. a woman. Zian and Dragon Wow, <laughs> Angel. You you understand hey, what you're saying, just dude? Just because they're me. I'm agreeing how with you because that's what you call yourself. are we, oh, Angel? You're like, Seriously, uh, how? Let's see. You're like... I know you were 15 once. Oh, my God. Where? Can where, you still drink? Where are the sharp, savvy objects? Anyway, she can't drive anymore. Point in cases. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get on. <laughs> I, who can't drive? What? Uh, 
Uh, all right, all right. Let me actually take a look we in the chat so we can actually show I'm sorry, okay, go ahead. Ahead. might not exist after Hang on, AJ. We're going to we're gonna take a look at the chat, uh, folks. After you Destiny shared her hopes of starting a family, Mystique used her shape-shifting abilities to fundamentally change her reproductive organs and present as a man using Azazel's genetic code. That's how, they, uh, that's how Mystique is the father of Nightcrawler. Isn't that like rape by the section? No, no. no. Like no, the, she told no, the dude, she, like the no. woman she was banging, that she was a uh, yes. Her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was a change they made recently. Yeah. That yeah. was fucking weird. No, and she basically said, like, "Okay, I'm uh, the, uh, the, I, I'm your father over here, uh, Nightcrawler. How? Uh, I'm a shapeshifter. I grew You're, balls and dicks. I grew balls and dick, and then no, we no, had no. You... dicks multiple. She experimented. It, it was horrifying. No, actually, it, I guess you could call her playing with Azazel's genetic code as part of her thing to True, do that. But, but at the whatever. end of the day. She has a default form that is female because that's what she was born in and she identifies as that. That's her. It's always been her. Morpho is different. Morpho literally you, had nothing. You, you, yeah, morph. Not morph. morph. I'm about to morph. morph was different. He literally had nothing but... Dude, I saw the comic book panel and I went back and I found the issue. My poor dude was a blob. He like Ew. he was slipping out okay, of the hands of the poor dog. He was kind of yeah. It was a ditto. No, he was a blob of placenta. There was like things. a mouth and yeah, a couple of ditto. eyes and a, a nose ditto. somewhere. Somewhere. Um, let me it's take the closest look. thing to one you're going to see. <gasps> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, Struggler, see, that's my problem. Morph had serious issues throughout the series, and now you're just going to hand wave that away, red flag. That's the thing. They mentioned he's going to be more lighthearted. We don't know if he's going to be like a sad clown. Like, we're going to see, because let's be honest, people getting on the microphone and saying stupid shit when they promote their show is nothing new. Okay, dude, but see, could change between male and female. Yeah, you're right, D-Nice. They already called X-Men. Shouldn't they just be called X? It's a term. It's not meant to denote men or women. It's like X-Men is a take on G-Men, which is what you used to call government ages back in the 1960s. That's hey, where that exactly. came from. The show was a gateway for my love of comics as my mom read, read to me the Chris Claremont run. Nice. Of Yay. Okay, also, awesome. let's, let's be honest. X-Men sounds a lot more snappy than X-People. It just doesn't flow yeah, But well. what about X-Force? X -Force? We'll get to X-Force in a minute, Jose. Okay. I promise. I didn't care about any character's there. orientation in the original. I don't care now. That's fine. You don't have to. That's cool. They're not going to shove it in your face of just saying that. As it's long as it don't make it the only fly, like the only personality trait the character has, you know, we can work with that. Uh, Non-binary or whatever. They just knew who they were. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean, D-Nice. Like, the the, uh, the thing is that that's actually still uh, part of what Morphling slash Morphing slash uh, 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 Morph slash Changeling. Jesus, Morphling. What do you mean digging myself deeper? Lisa Boo, I am not digging deeper. I I'm, swear, I'm ascending to the stars here. You all just can't keep up with my wishes. Listen, listen, you have you have a grave tripping. waiting. You guys, everybody did, does. Tripping. I'll just be smiling. Oh no, right tripping down the stairs. You guys did mention. I warn you about the stairs. There's stairs though. outside. Okay, you guys did mention how we've got uh, some of the voice cast as coming back. As many as they could, if I recall. Um, Jose sent us this article from uh, Screen Rant, if I read that correctly. But yes. Uh, so yes, Jose, you can <laughs> do the thing that's yes. orderly. I'm more worried about the fact that Jean is pregnant because her child is. It's just a whole new kind of worms when that thing is born. <laughs> every new and return the headline reads every new and returning voice actor cast in X-Men 97 so far, provided to us by Sharia Thapa, published uh yesterday. Okay, so la 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 la. All okay, right. so we're just gonna try to go down to the actual cast. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? All right. Okay, Ka uh, Cal Dodd is back as Wolverine. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so that's right, Bob. Um, wait, where's Cal Dodd is back as Wolverine. Oh, yeah, that's another cool shot from the animation. Yeah. Gambit riding on Logan's back and using his kinetic energy uh, charge it's on Wolverine's power claws. Up. Kinetic yeah. claws. Kinetic, kinetic claws. claws. So awesome. cool. Okay, yeah, they see. did the thing. Yay. Okay, so that's him. He's coming okay. back. That's good. For the huge jacked man, Ray Chase. Ray Chase replaces Ooh, Norm Spencer as Cyclops. Ray! Yeah. Unfortunately, Norm Spencer is no longer among us. So, hey, might as well get a new a good voice actor to put in there. And, and Ray is Ray fantastic. Is Ray does Eric. the work. Jennifer Hale voices Jean Grey. Yay! Yay! It's our girl. Yes. It's our girl. Let me. Let me it's, I, they just feel so awkward. You know, fucking hell, I hate these things. <laughs> it's all right, man. Don't these worry. These guys need to we... optimize their websites. Leonore uh, Zan returns to voice Rogue. Goo. Anna Marie Raven. Yeah, the, uh, yes. the actress was also a Canadian MP. God damn. Hey, nice. Whoa. Cool. Okay, then. Really? So, yeah, we're, get, we're getting the band back together as much as Holly we can. Holly Cho is, is uh, uh, coming yep. in as Jubilee, who replaced Alison Court. Because sadly, Alison Court is also no longer on the list. I think, mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know. Rest uh, in peace, see. Carol. Court backed out from the oh. role when she tweeted in 2021 that young and talented Asian actors could do justice to the character. Aww. Oh, she's like, no, I'm going to let someone else take a crack. That's good. That's fine. Uh, I'm right. good, thank you. 
All right. Uh, okay, let's let's go ahead and continue. George okay. Booza returns yes! as Beast. Nice. Dude, I fucking love Beast. Beast is the man. Beast was the man. Okay, let's see. Allison Sealy Smith plays Storm. She returns as Storm. Hell, hell yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, replaced Iona Morris as Storm's voice back in 1993. Honestly, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not complaining about the Mohawk because, you know, she kept most of her hair with the Mohawk. So it's like a nice compromise between the fluff do and the Mohu. Uh huh. Mainly because. I'm happy they didn't give her the full shave style because that's in the storyline of X-Men when Storm turned into kind of a bitch. Oh, Like, she see. was just a terrible person during that time. Christopher Britton once again voices Mr. Sinister. Yeah! Holy nice. shit! Okay, they better give him the fucking huge high color. Angel? Our boy, AJ uh, yeah. Locasio, uh, Locasio is, back, is voicing Gambit. Cajun time, baby. Let's do it. He even oh. looks the part. Right? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, let me see where, where was the original uh, final episode. Okay. What the hell? Voiced by Chris Potter, who developed Gambit's Cajun accent, and later even additional played Cyclops in the Fox animated series. Potter was later replaced in the final episodes by Tony Daniels. Oh, cool. And now next in line is AJ Locasio. Yay! Who, yeah, yeah, he was Prince Lotor, Angel. Ha! Hey! <laughs> nice. Repizza. Now you can't unsee it. Now I can unsee it. Matthew Ma- Watterson offers a new take on Magneto. David Hemblem could Damn. return as We lost the man. Ah, another you know, one. You know Magneto is more powerful because he has more hair now in the trailer? God damn. He took Storm's hair. That's took- why he's so powerful. Like, take a look. Okay. You can see her. You can see Storm's hair. It's just uh, done up with the mohawk and maybe. Come on, the... as ladies know, that usual horrible side shave they keep putting like oh, women nowadays in animation that makes it look terrible. And the rest. And the rest. Yeah, we got a nice uh, Mark long Wand, pile. Uh, Charles Xavier, the flashback is up. Alone, uh, Sentinels, Valerie Cooper. We got Cable. Cable is coming the up. The Executioner. Yeah. Uh, and where, where do they? Where's the guy who's voicing Bishop? There we go. Isaac Robertson Smith voicing uh, Bishop. Uh, La, 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 la. So you okay. know that they're already going to tackle that storyline yeah. again. Yeah. Which is funny because one of the big deals about the future storyline is that Scott and Jean's daughter, uh, what was her name again? Hope. Hope <laughs> is a very important part of the future, but whether she's supposed to or not, to receive the power of the Phoenix, which could have cataclysmic consequences. Honestly, that is one thing that I did love about the original series and, well, the overall series in general. And one of the reasons why I, wa- I prefer to use X-Men as a metaphor for discrimination in general, instead of a specific type of discrimination. Because I don't want to use race as an example, because the average person of a different race is not an X-Men or a mutant. Like, it is silly to be afraid of somebody because they have a different skin color. It is not silly to be afraid of somebody because they can vomit lava. Like, what I, I always felt that this was important. The reason why Xavier founded his school is because he understood that in some way, humanity's fear will always be justified. Think about it. You cannot tell when somebody's going to be born a mutant. Best case scenario, you are born deformed, and your body will be struck by horrible pain for the rest of your life. Best case scenario, you are given amazing powers that you barely know how to control. I mean, look at Storm. She's one of the nicest characters in the series. Worse, look at Rogue. No, 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 no. Really look at Rogue. No, no. See, Rogue's problem is a personal problem. No, it she, mostly she it hurts touch- her more than it hurts other people. Uh, you sure about that? Well. Because, <laughs> because. <laughs> girl, give me that suck. No, oh. no not even. Hand on hand. Boom. Hey, bro, what's Your oh, ass shit. is dead. In yeah, a coma. But it mostly, well, obviously it hurts other people, but she doesn't want to go around hurting people. It mostly hurts her because, do you know what it does to people when they are touch deprived? It's like psychologically destructive. But oh, yeah. But look at Storm. Storm can control the goddamn weather. Like, even if Storm is the nicest woman in the world. Which she is. And she is a genuinely understandable, civilized person who Which will she not is. resort to violence unless it's necessary. Which she is. That doesn't change the fact yeah. that if she gets pissed enough, she can make category fives on a whim. Yeah. Yeah. It is understandable that people are afraid of that. Because whether you like it or not... Even if a person is the nicest person in the world, if they are born with rocket launchers attached to their arms that can go off when they get emotional, you're going to be worried. Okay, Whether I, you I like it or not. I have a question with Rogue, though. Um, What's up? So, what happened when she was born, then? Oh, no, the mutant... The powers pu- developed during puberty. Okay, yeah. okay. Thankfully, she <laughs> no. did not murder her own parents. Can you, can you imagine you don't, if that's what you happened? Don't, yeah. I mean, you don't remember... Like, okay, you don't remember the first X-Men movie when we see her? Uh, like, she's, uh... uh she's yeah. got do, you, this do you know boy- the last time I watched that? Good point. A long, yeah. long yeah, no, no, time ago. Yeah. She freaking uh, had this boy in her room, so, like, after high school. Uh, I'm gonna do this road trip. We'll they go had along. Their first kiss. There, she had her had first their kiss, first... and the boy went into a coma for three weeks. Because Hi, K-Storm. as it seems to happen so often, 
one's mutant abilities blossom during puberty. With puberty. Hey, look at that! Another applicability thing. So, ah. of course, the first time she goes fooling around, she's going to lose control because yeah. she doesn't. Look at what happened to Cyclops during that first class movie. He sized the school in half. Raging hormones. hormones. You know what they say, Angel? You never forget your first kiss. Ha! Ah. Ah. Well, that boy forgot everything for the next three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> cases, not only do you have mutant powers that awake during puberty, where the recipient is both hormonal and barely in control of themselves, I know we were at the point in our lives, Giggity. many powers genuinely cannot be controlled and they are a danger to themselves and other people around them. So the fear is justified. Their response, hey, let's make giant robots. Hey, not so much. Like, oh, hold up. Yeah. No. So, Xavier made the school not just to train mutant powers, but to foster a sense of equality. And more importantly, to show the world that, hey, we can live alongside each other. Especially when you remember that you can't control who is going to give birth to a mutant. It could happen at any point. There was a very poignant point in the comics. I love reading those comics. Where a young boy discovered his powers. Do you know what his powers did? What? They dissolve organic matter. <laughs> in a 300 meter radius. Oh. He cannot control it. Oh, no. He killed his entire town on his 15th birthday. So Wolverine was sitting there to rescue him. And the boy basically goes, you're here to kill me, aren't you? And Wolverine goes, yeah, you can control your power. The only reason I'm even standing here is because I'm regenerating as I'm falling apart. And if the world gets an idea of people like you existing, every mutant is going to be in a, in a containment camp by today. And the boy goes, no, no, I understand. And the boy just walks to his death, and Wolverine feels like shit, but that's the problem. There is an inherent danger. In fact, you don't even have to look at the comics. Look at Logan. What happened, to what happened to Professor X when he had a seizure? I, I even told you guys when we did the review of Logan. He okay, take the most powerful every... telepath in the world, the most brilliant mind, an incredibly tolerant and intellectually uh, the, uh, gifted man. Now give him Alzheimer's. Oops, everybody in this oh, Everybody dies. dies. Yeah, no, they have to they, they, the blue had to be contained inside a metal tank for his own the safety of everybody around him. And when himself. they took him out of the hotel, he had he had basically a migraine and almost everybody in the hotel almost died. No, he, it wasn't a migraine, that was a full on seizure. Because yeah. if you remember, he was skipping the medication yeah. that they were keeping him on. Bad idea. But he so yeah. I like that important aspect of it on the show and the comics, showing that, yeah, no, it is wrong to discriminate, but at the same time, when your fear is well and truly founded, you can't really be blamed for being afraid for the safety of your loved ones. That's why the professor is so desperately trying to foster community and unity between humans and mutants. He doesn't want to overcome them. He wants to show them that they can work together. That is also why, why Magneto is his opposite. He was a victim of discrimination, and he could never get over experiencing the evils of humanity. I have been marked once, my dear. Skin. Let me assure you, no needle will ever touch, touch my skin, skin again. again. He's seen the worst of humanity, and unfortunately, he's fallen for the same trap of becoming the monster that he, well, attacks others with. There was an iconic moment in the comics where the Red Skull, Mr. Super Nazi himself, all right, talks some mad shit to Magneto when Magneto goes, you know what you were doing. You were trying to use me for your own means. And the Red Skull pulls out a cigar. <sighs> Come on now, Eric. Let's not lie to each other here and put some airs of superiority. Were you not the man that threatened the nuclear holocaust just a few weeks ago? Did you not slaughter an entire military ship full of innocent men only doing their jobs? <sighs> Face it, we are more alike than you realize. And Magneto has this look of disgust in his face uh, like, how please tell me, dare you? Please tell me that, uh, that uh, Magneto put him in his place. Oh no, he never had an argument against that. He never got they, had a, they got into a fight later and he nearly killed the Red Skull. But the Red Skull was correct. Magneto's obsession... Uh, Magneto oscillates. He's a very complex character. You know, he goes from, we will work together because we have a great enemy to, I will now commit another genocide. God damn. He well, goes in between kind of guy. Yeah. That's why Ian McKellen and Michael Fassbender did a bang-up job playing him in the movies. Hells yeah, and we and we can't wait to see what happens in X-Men 97. <laughs> like I said... You're two of them, they like, like I said, the show's coming out on March 20th, next month, on Disney+. Plus. So we're definitely going to check that out. I'm going to do the smart thing. Let's give it a three-episode roundup, you know? I don't know if they brought back the original writers, but I hold that show in great esteem. They have some very important, powerful, and nuanced episodes... So if they can manage to catch lightning in the bottle again, hey, I'll be happy to congratulate them. If they don't, I won't really be surprised. It's been an avid lately. <laughs> well, 
like a, well, well, a, well, an argument can be made that you know uh, the Marvel Studios has had a bit of an up and down trajectory when it comes to making their content. I'm just hoping that it lands on hits this time. Oh, it'll land. I'm hoping that it will too, especially because uh, Marvel Studios had another bullet in the chamber to unload on all of us. Yes. Another trailer featuring a very, very popular mutant, uh, or shall I say, a very popular. Oh no, he's a mutant. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to be a little more. And yes, thank you for reminding me. Yes, uh, Magneto Thanks, basically <laughs> subjects the Red Skull to solitary confinement for months, and basically goes, maybe the water will run out. Maybe you'll die better. But but let's course. go ahead and shift gears right now. We're going to talk about the one of the most popular characters all over the damn internet. Yeah, Jeff yeah, Blazing yeah. Titan. I'm on a shoot, baby. Shoot, shoot. Let's talk shoot, about bad. Deadpool. Shoot, yeah, bad. Jeff Bridges. Yes. What? Jeff Bridges is great. I love Jeff Bridges. That's not Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Deadpool could be Jeff Bridges if you wanted to. <laughs> no, he couldn't. Well, see, now Jeff you're... Bridges is a, is, a, is a country soul. See, now you're just like downplaying Deadpool's acting abilities. No, I'm up playing. Angel, have you the been watching Le- the Jeff Big Bridges. Lebowski? I don't know. That's not your opinion, man. I hate you, <laughs> Angel. Have you been watching the Big okay, Lebowski? Angel, He's a pretty good boy. You drone on forever, Jose. You cut us off too long. That's not the point. The point is we're hit, we're winning again, folks. It's we're back. We are so back. We folks. are so back. Never before have we been back more than we have been now, and uh, we just exposed ourselves. To this trailer, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the 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 uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer? I'm just gonna skip to this bit, which where I'm not gonna play the whole thing because obviously, because obviously we're gonna get a copyright claim. Oh please, from what? He's mutton chops. Actually, yes. No. God damn it. Actually, no. Angel. Just tell them it's a Hashimishima. Motherfuck! This is what got everybody losing their minds. Even though we already knew this was happening. I mean, the yeah, Deadpool but... and Wolverine thing was had been leaked all over the place, and yeah, we're getting it. And for those of you who don't know, yeah, this is basically the, this their way of saying hi. We're taking Deadpool from the way Fox Studios was making him with the uh, the first two Deadpool movies. Baraka yeah. Pool. No. Oh, the other ones, the good ones, the, the good, good ones. ones. And we're gonna and we're, we're gonna fold him into the MCU <laughs> by way of <laughs> the. Fine folks at the Time Variance Authority, the I gotta TVA. Be, I gotta be honest with from you. From the Loki series. I was not expecting that. I was thinking that it was gonna be like, oh, hey, your Wolverine just exists in this world kind of thing. Nope. But I was, they were gonna just rip him out of this book and put him into this book. Do you notice that during the fight scene, the Fox logo is just laying on the ground? Yeah, the uh, yeah. Century Fox. Yeah. What the hell? So, yeah. yeah uh, I uh, fucking here. love Deadpool. <laughs> It, this He's was so this was wonderful. They have him suiting up over here. Oh, I guess that that uh, TVA agent that he uh, that he talks to is named Paradox. Well, they got weird names for these people. Uh, what's his face? Uh, um, Owen Wilson plays uh, Mobius, yeah. as in the Mobius strip. Uh, Ki Hyung uh, Ken, uh, uh, Kang, he he plays a dude named Ouroboros. So I guess that's yeah. I, I'm not gonna judge his name. I mean, to be it's fair, part we, the listen, we had a clock voiced by Terra Strong. Everything is possible now. Good point. The clock was evil. So remember how I said earlier that uh, X-Men had a very inconsistent yet exciting franchise and a lot of the movies were great and a lot of the movies were not? It's what? to get really inconsistent. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. One thing that is true, all the Deadpool movies from the first one that came out in 2016 to the Ooh. second one that came out in 2000 and, uh, 2019 to <sighs> the one that's coming out soon... The Deadpool movies have been consistently fucking awesome. Yeah, and they're fun. very fun. It's fun. Oh, Do yeah. you remember he is, fun? He is Marvel Are Jesus. we back, bros? Marvel We're Jesus, back, bros. Yes. We are so back, bros. But Angel, don't you understand? They're, they're, they're making a mutant non-binary. It's over. It's it is so, so over. It's so jober. It is so never before. Oh. But been wait, so jober. but we are back. Deep but within now, my so jober, I found the invincible. We are back. Now we are back. Yeah. But Angel, the booty is slightly missing in a frame. God damn it! It's, it's so over. over. <laughs> it is so. O- wait, it's so, so jober. A- Angel, what do you say that you have uh, found Jesus? I have found Jesus. <laughs> we found are so Marvel back. Jesus. We found Marvel Jesus. <laughs> that means- I, I still love how they had him in this fucking toupee <laughs> over here. Like, it, like I'm literally like, wait, what the is hell that did the he kid bacon? hairdo because he's looking like Kevin Bacon if he was made of actual bacon. Kinda? And the, like raw the, bacon. I mean, he's not wrong. And in the fucking trailer, you see when they pull him away from the TVA, uh, <laughs> they the freaking tube. Come on, guys. They're trying to hold him in, but like, no, nah, fuck him. 
Fuck Disgusting. This guy. Adding insult to injury. You like, can still see some of the hair plugs sticking like, out of his Why would you do this to me? My entire Why would you do this to me? My entire face is an injury. You're adding insult to it now. Like the good news is that they're actually keeping it. Like okay, he's deformed there, but it's not so as like it's still continuously killing him all the it fucking depends. time. Like in, still... in the comics, it goes between this and my face is a hamburger. Gross. Mm -hmm. well, at least with this, you have a little bit more of a like. Okay, this is at least more visually friendly. Because who wants to actually see hamburger oh my God. face? You look like a tester. the suit up was hilarious. Boom. Uh, yeah. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Whoop. Perfect. Did, uh, go back. Uh, Hold on. Up? Was someone just um grabbing uh, his ass? Was, was that someone? Let me see. Not just let me someone. Because I, I it went too quickly. Sword, sword, <laughs> zipper, <laughs> mask, belt. belt. Yes! Yeah! Spank, spank, yeah! Yep. Okay. Listen, we are testing he for you. He did not find that. He did not find that at all. Yep, there's there a crotch. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep. Uh -huh. We are yeah. testing for firmness. Yep. Yep. <laughs> also for his, like, you know, his Wait, urethra, wait. That's I, right. would, say, I yeah. would say that they were testing for prostate yeah. cancer, but I mean. No, they yeah. were testing for the colon because all the cancer. You gotta make Go sure ahead. the inside is like healthy. Yeah. So yeah. yes, folks, Deadpool and Wolverine. The third Deadpool movie is set to be released on uh, July, uh, July twenty sixth. You mean <laughs> Wolverine and uh, you mean Wolverine and the asshole? Oh, yes, yeah. Wolverine and the asshole. Oh, so this is the shot that you're. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yep. Uh, and also, people have Perfect. been loving this uh, this little reload of uh, of uh, Wade throwing these. Uh, nice. Well, first nice. off, okay, that's first off, brutal. what the fuck is he fighting? Nice. He's fighting uh, guys from the TVA. He's huh. fighting the yeah. TVA, yeah. Well, damn, they didn't take long to spoil that they're going to turn on him. Okay, then. Are they? Maybe. We don't know. Shoom. Uh, click. Click. Come that on, that's clip. fucking cool. That is so sexy. It's Boom. Deadpool, though. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nope. Nice. Got to uh, gotta, uh, prime the first charge, and there you go. Nice. There. Everyone. So you would all <laughs> wait to see this. It's going to be fucking so fun. Everyone deserves a happy ending. Get it? Haha. -ha. Yeah. And yeah. By the way, guess who's back? Pyro from the f uh, from the first three X Men movies. Of Aaron Sanford, I think that's back. his name. Huh? Of all the people. Yeah. I mean, Act you know what? That's no. cool. Bring back weird shit that we haven't seen in a while. Go ahead, do it. Actor Aaron Sanford, who played Pyro in X Two, X Men United, and X Men Three: The Last Stand, will be making his return as the best, Pyro. The best part about this is the fact that Ryan Reynolds has no fucking filter. He's now officially with Disney, <laughs> and he's filter? going to shit on Disney relentlessly. He already did in the trailer. He's like, no, okay, he listen, well, now guys. Now I wanted to do more. Like, listen. I understand. What are you trying to do to intimidate me here? Because pegging is not something that's new to me, but it is new to Disney. Disney. Ha! Ha! Ah. Hardy, hardy, horries. Har, har, har. But yeah, I, pretty fun trailer. I love him. We're gonna, uh, it's fucking gonna... Pyro, though. Yes. I know, right? I know, no, this is great. Bring back, like, obscure characters we haven't seen in forever. not even obscure. He was well, one he's of... obscure for the cinematic he was the... world. Well, he was the henchman to Magneto in exactly. X3. So. He was just a henchman. No, no, kind of not really. He was the he he was also in X Men Two. He burned everyone when they went yeah. to Iceman's uh, house. He blew up a bunch of cars and shit because yeah. he was a dumbass. Yeah, because he was uh, Deadpool and the, the the pools of death. It's yes. gonna be great. I can't wait. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Excite! I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the second one. Hopefully, I will like this one too. It's just gonna be fun because okay, obviously Cable is not gonna be the straight man here. We're gonna have Wolverine for that, so it's gonna be even funnier at that point because. I mean, shit, let's be honest. People have been asking for this for how long now? Oh, Far too long. Long, long enough that, 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 this, that this specific video alone, the trailer alone, has garnered so many views that right now, as of this broadcast, it stands as the most watched video of all time. Oh, and you're yeah. correct, Stronger. That is fucking lame because we live in a land of double standards. But this is a good Wait, thing. Wait, what double standards? That one. Oh, we can grab up Deadpool, but we can't have Rogue cheeked up lame. Dude, bro, bro, bro. Enough no. with the booty! No. It's Look there. No. Struggler. Angel. It's not a priority Angel, right struggler. Now. I have convinced that you two share notes. No, we don't. We but are they just, do share tweets. We are brothers, and we understand each other on a deep, incomprehensible level. Because he's very different from me. He's bisexual. And I'm straight. And that makes us in a difference that can be combined as the Mariana Trench. But more importantly, <laughs> he is me. For real, for real. Well, I, I have bad news for you. What? I think I'm the one who stole the ass. Sorry. I can't believe you did this to me. <laughs> uh, have you seen the cake man of, and dragon I, finger packing? I thought of you as a friend. I see now that I was mistaken. Angel. You think you know this host? Angel, did you... Did, let me ask you. Yeah. Did you know Zayana and Dragonfang in 1997? No, I wasn't here in 1997. Remember? Where do you think the booty went? 
Of course. All right. I see. Well, so, you people. two are kind of freaky mutants, so <laughs> no surprise uh, you stole someone's ass. Guys, we can argue we about ass look, later. We Angel. could have looked like Spawn the movie version. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. Uh, that was so wild. Yeah. That's pretty Deadpool fucked up. Uh, uh, Wolverine and asshole looks good. It yes, looks it pretty good. Yes, it does. That but, being said, though, it will be nice to see Hugh Jackman return to basically play the part of I am so sick and tired of your shit. For two hours. <laughs> For two hours. Now, to provide more information here, we have an article here from Deadline with the headline reading, Deadpool and Wolverine trailer smashes record to become the most viewed of all time. Uh, an article provided... An article provided by Anthony de Alessandro on February 13th. Marvel Studios' Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, 24 hours after airing during the Super Bowl, was seen by 365 million people online, making it the most viewed trailer of all time. Remember Damn. when the first Deadpool had an amount of 50 plus million and people thought that was a big number? This is a big number. This oh, yeah. beats out the 24-hour viewership total for Sony Marvel Studios' Spider-Man No Way Home, which was seen by 355 million people. Wow. So, it you beat him by 10 million. You beat Sp You guys don't understand how profitable Spider-Man is. For the that trailers. That is crazy. So, yeah, you got to remember that's for the trailers over there, which is bizarre and hilarious, and I have no idea why they don't leave on it. Ryan Reynolds is... Yeah, as of right now, yeah. let me see. The trailer... Yeah, goddamn... Listen, he's the Merc with a mouth and the ass. Yeah. Uh, edition. Emphasis on ass. Emma Corrin, uh, Miranda Bakarin, uh, Rob Delaney, Leslie Uggams, uh, Karen Nelson, and Matthew McFadden. Okay. Really uh, let's see. Kevin, Kevin Feige, 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 Sean Levy. Uh, oh, shit. Laura Sh Lauren Schuler Donner. The director, Sean Levy, directed eight episodes of Stranger Things. Yep. Not yep. at the museum, the yep. internship. Re he directed Real Steel. Yeah. yeah! Wow, this movie might actually be good. Bro, bros, we are so back. We are so back, bro. But Angel, the booty's missing in that one frame. No, it isn't. You saw that ass of Ryan Reynolds? It's not missing at all. <laughs> we are so back. He has, he has a nice bootay. He also You're did right. Jake You're Jackson, right. Stray Dog, it's a the famous Jake Jackson. Uh, he did, yeah. like he did Animorphs in 1998. Yep. Wait, what? He did okay. Animorphs in He directed three episodes of Animorphs. He directed the... <gasps> fun fact. Fun oh, my fact. God, Animorphs. Oh. Fun fact for those of you who may not know, Animorphs was also uh, where we first were introduced to Sean Ashford, so who went on to play Iceman in the X-Men movies. How ironic and yet strange. Wow, uh, time is a flat circle. Listen, Animorphs, Animorphs. deserve so much more. That is a sick yeah, it so I remember so going to Blockbuster more. to get some of the, the, the episodes... I gotta say, the CG was kind of good for his time. You know what's really bizarre? Sean Ashmore, he was at least five or seven years or however. Like, when did... Hold, it, hold on. Live research time. <laughs> I need to know how... All right, well, why are you doing that? Let me at least read the final paragraph of the article this, while this, you're doing that, There's really nothing yes. of interest left in the article. Is it? Well, that's up to me. No, it really isn't. It's up to the people who wrote the article because they're dumb. But yes, the movie is expected to bring the box office back to life after suffering two strikes... On July 26th, it will, it will play in IMAX, Real 3D, Dolby Cinema, 4D Cinema, XG, and Premium Screen. So, yeah. We're putting this shit everywhere. Yeah, no. After what about suffering. Yeah, no. After everywhere. suffering box office what losses. What about D Box? I, I'm D -box sorry. experience is good. I, I don't know if they'll do D Box because literally you'll just be thrown everywhere. Damn. That, yeah, <laughs> that I can't. D Box experience. I can't answer that question, but yeah, no. Okay, after, after Marvel Studios suffered huge box office losses from their past movie projects, this one will hopefully return the investment. This might be hopefully the one that keeps them above water just a bit long. There was somebody. This will do it. There was somebody outright complaining that somehow the scene of Wolverine, Deadpool reloading his guns was like they were complaining that people were excited about it and not for the scenes of the Marvels where Miss Mar Captain Marvel brought back his son. And I'm like, listen, we get it, but it's not a matter of spectacle; it's a matter of presentation. Restarting a son is cool. But do you see how he reloaded those guns, though? Uh, guy, it's like the John Wick movies. He reloads kind of, yes. so good, guys. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Also, Animorphs or books are so fucked, you're not wrong. Yes, they are. <laughs> Fair <laughs> warning. The Animorphs uh, books are a very different experience from the Animorphs yeah, TV show. Yes. Okay. They, uh, they get uh, dark they, real like, quick. Child soldiers in an in, uh, in, 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 in interstellar war. Yeah, but let's go ahead. And, good. And, yeah. Yeah. it's good. It is dark. good. Uh, it's okay. like and you troopers. don't know also, who the bad guys are. I'm, I'm sorry, but um, the Texans. 
the, those terrified Ooh, me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that reminds me of the Grigory from Kamen Rider Kabuto. Those okay. freaks with the okay. halos. Yep. I thought that there was more of a time gap between the Animorph series and the first X-Men movie. I was wrong. Because 1998, uh, 1998 to 99 was wow. the two seasons of Animorphs. It only went two seasons. Damn. Yep. But it was indelibly etched into our hearts. And the first X-Men movie where Sean Ashmore shows up as Iceman as Bobby Drake was in 2000. Huh. So... It was like, he basically, like, after that finished, like, oh, hey, I'll audition for this. Okay, X-Men, cool, I'll do this. Hey, Canada, cool. Anyway, uh, so I was wrong about that, but you guys didn't need to know about it. it doesn't it's matter. okay, Juan. It's Don't good. We it's didn't important. need to know that you were wrong? It's called important treatment. It's necessary to maintain the rules. All right, but yes, as Juan pointed out, there's not much else to say about this article. So let's yeah, go ahead and move on uh, with a follow-up. From our previous topic, from uh, the Black Files, not from this week because, well, Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, though this past week that I had that we had on the Black Files, we didn't have an episode because K Storm and I were celebrating our fifteenth anniversary. And, hey. if anybody, hey. and if anybody deserves a break from uh, oh, content, Zayana has a mic right now. So I know. Zayanna and Dragon Fang, they both have mics. I of their see own. that. I stole the mic earlier. And yeah, if anybody it, it, deserves a break, it's Juan Arauz. I needed brain juice El recharging. Señor Arauz. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've done this before. We're going to do it again. I can't believe we have to do it again Cute. because I thought that after the previous episode, the matter was you, honey. settled and closed. Let's talk about B-tubers. Wait, again? before we do this, Always? we need to, we, because we, for, we didn't do it until late, we have to give an obligatory disclaimer because we're following up on a very... Right. Very, yes. This disclaimer involves matters of legal counsel, legal counsel, several accusations, allegations, and some severe cases of self-harm and extremely fragile emotional states. For your... Uh, I'm not going to say protection. For your dis- your discretion At your is discretion. advice. There you go. All right. Let's talk about the there. Hell sheet. There. Thank you. For a brief summary of before, a VTuber by the name of Selentatsky, uh, formerly working with a company known as Niji Sanji, underwent some severe emotional and straight up abusive uh, treatment by his, of her own company, who essentially screwed her out of both her money, her products, and her music video that she spent a huge amount of money on. Not just for, at the hands of her agency, but also at the hands of her peers, other uh, VTubers who are assigned to this agency. Indeed. To her credit, she has refused to point fingers. As her in her own words, she just wants to move on and continue with her life. She has rebirthed herself. That is a horrible word to use. As Doki Bird, her previous YouTube personality, and revived, oh, revived, revived herself. Also, good news. She has surprised. She has surpassed all her contemporaries and uh, former members in subscribers in less than a week. Excellent. Good. Ah! Excellent. Very good. 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 Take Take her. That. She's Very almost good at six hundred k, and people are just pumping Ooh. those numbers. Those are no longer rookie numbers. That's good. But yeah, no. Needless to say. The company basically screwed her over several times. She revealed that in her time working for Niji Sanji, she spent a total of 200k of her own money on personal and company projects that barely gave any returns. And then the most recent case was the fact that she wanted to leave the company on January. They wouldn't let her until she committed two separate attempts on her own life within less than two weeks of one another. Now, thankfully, she did not succeed in any of those attempts, and she's currently on her way to therapy and recovery, and everybody is very happy to give her her support. Everybody was happy to just put this shit show away, let her grow, and, uh, you know, talk shit about Niji Sanji, which has been fully labeled a black company now by all the contemporaries. That's what I was going to say. Niji Sanji, on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're reaping what they sow. They're reaping what they sow. Actions do, in fact, have consequences. Unfortunately, they were not happy with continue to reap. They pulled out the harvester and went right to work on the shaft, you know, the shaft before the wind, because... Niji Sanji, according to this article, has been slammed by using top VTubers to unveil <laughs> Selentatsky's legal charges against them. Excuse me? For the record, and to add another dot to the asshole cake, this video was released at the same time as her first returning stream as Doki Bird. They Excuse me? specifically yeah. timed this to bring no. it when she was coming, causing her to cut off her stream and run off to talk to her lawyer specifically because of this. Yeah. Oh, the shit. The fucking nerve. This, this article comes by way of Selena uh, Alzate mm. on uh, Level Push. Go take a look at them. Dear oh, God, who are these right. hobos? Yep. You know Wait who these minute. hobos I, are? I recognize, I recognize the, the, the one on the right. right. Yeah. This yeah. one over here? Yep. I, the, yeah. I never watched... I, I, I really don't watch VTubers, but I I, I, I see people I, I cosplaying this I think it's Box. Box. I think that's be shitting me. That's... So just so when so the public what was, thought, what was that one saying? I vaguely remember the left. The one on the right? 
the he's, black and red. I believe I his think name that's is Vox. Vox. Okay, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of people uh, cosplay. I've seen Vox lot of Akuma. Reels. Yeah. yeah, I've seen a lot of his reels. There's been a lot of shit talking going on, and many of the VTubers or the livers of the Niji Sanji company have lost thousands of subscribers, except for one, ironically enough. One who actually stood for uh, Dokiber's loss, and she actually like liked one of the comments supporting her. As a result, she got more subscribers, and I'm not going to call it a challenge. But she basically, in her most recent stream, she went, listen, she, in not so many words, she said, the company's going to screw me over, so I'm just going to release my merchandise for free. <laughs> ah! So let's actually, so let's get into this article here. Sorry. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is huge. This is really big. This came up on Tuesday, yep. the 13th. All right. So um, let's go ahead and read on. Uh, let's see here. Just when the public thought the tides had calmed between Do Doki Bird, previously known as Cillian Tatsuki, and her former company Niji Sanji, the plot continued to swell, uh, to swell as the Japanese agency revealed that their former VTuber filed legal measures against them. Watch out. Bullshit. All right. Uh, one week after the announcement of Celine Totsky's contract termination, three of Niji Sanji's top English oh, VTubers yeah. went live yeah. to discuss a lawsuit pro filed by their previous <laughs> agency member on the evening of February 12th. So this was this past Monday. Elira Pandora, the no, Pandora of Evox Akuma, yeah. and Ike Evelyn went live on YouTube to reveal the details of the private legal documents. Um, if it's private legal, are you not allowed to talk about that? Ah, funny you should mention that. It is likely that the company Nijisanji was trying to rely on the idea of being a foreign company to get away with that legal foul pas. However, oh. uh, Doki Bird lives in Canada. And as a result, though she is hired by Nijisanji, she is subject to Canadian laws, which means that they are subject to Canadian oh, laws. Oh, hey, you know the, hey, isn't that ironic? Earlier tonight, we were we were we were bemoaning and uh, mourning the uh, the fact of being born Canadian. I know, but, but you know what? Go being a mutant is knowing that you have to make the best of your circumstances. And now, but look at lo and behold, and look at that, they did it. And what I don't think these people are realizing is that. Unlike the United States, where contract law can be very easily fucked with, Canadian contract law is far stronger. As an example, um, just to go into housing. Yeah. They, no matter what, you must be given 30 days notice. Um, tenants have way more rights there than what they do here. Mm -hmm. There's even a board to help prevent abuses. Like, that kind of shit wouldn't fly here. Come on. No. Freedom. Yeah. Point in case. I, guys, have the, I should have the freedom to throw people out on the street the moment I feel like it. I have the freedom these to interfere with your freedoms. don't Die. realize how badly they're going to get fucked in the Canadian oh, courts. Oh, yes, they will. They will indeed. And They'll find out the hard way. Doki Bird filed a private legal complaint against her former agency on the grounds of her contract termination because they did screw her over. Mm -hmm. However, Niji Sanji and VTubers retaliated as their identities claimed were docs in okay, said legal okay. files. So you say docs. The only thing is, if these are private legal yeah, it's all, files... Yeah, the video is all black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, these cowards in a 15-minute and one-second fucking uh, video... They don't even show their freaking VTuber sodas or nothing. Here's they the show part. the fucking texts and they show all this stuff here. It's a lot of it is in, in okay, kanji and but shit. But so this is like this wasn't released to the public, these files. No, it wasn't. No. So technically, being docs means everyone online now knows where you live. Yeah. If this is a private legal file, yeah. then the only people who know where you live are the lawyers and shit, right? And Which means that you probably shouldn't make YouTube videos talking about the fact that you're no. being released private information for no, an extremely important legal case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so technically, it, they weren't docs. <laughs> they, no, it's not. It doesn't count. It's with far a lawyer, from it. They need to know your actual name. They need to know where yeah. you live. All that shit. Yeah. Not docs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, yep, Niji Sanji and v VTubers uh, claims Celine Totsky docks them on legal charges. The live stream on Elyria Pandora's account lasted precisely 15 minutes. The agency received documents from Celine's lawyers that contained her experiences with the company and the personal details of Niji Sanji and uh, li uh, livers. 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 <laughs> well, they are filled with poison. <laughs> At the start of the live stream, uh, Elyria pre uh, prefaces that they are aware of the sensitivity of the subject matter. The three 
three state uh, the three state that the uh, livers people behind VTuber characters were concerned about the legal documents containing their private identities and whether the paper would even go public. Okay, but if it yeah. does go public, that stuff will be redacted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That stuff can be because redacted for the legal case. Like yeah, you can actually yeah. say John Doe, Jane Doe, private all that Private information like that would be redacted, so no one can find that out. Furthermore, yeah. the VTubers also refute the instances of selling Tasky initially recalled during the announcement of her termination. The VTubers stated that selling has been given proper communication of events. Yeah, of course. And quote. And mm. quote, each time she will refuse to cooperate, even when the staff would react appropriately. Do you know how big that statement is? That's horseshit. She refuses to cooperate with what? With, with what? what? Even when the staff would react appropriately. To what? Okay, maybe you should um, um exaggerate that. Like, you know, let like, us know. Uh, elaborate? More information, Yeah, elaborate, please. please. The three VTubers state that they went live over the threat of the document being publicized, despite Selin's attorneys stating her wishes to proceed to be kept private. Wait, so why are they saying that there is a threat of it because being they are fucking Who is idiots. saying that? They are. You or can't rather, just say, oh, yeah, it's, it's being threatened to become public. Okay, yeah. who is threatening that? I don't know, maybe the company no. holding a gun to the back Give of their the heads. Names. <laughs> Give the like, names. Like, the, that's the reason why that's, uh, that video was blank and it's a black screen. Because you can't see the freaking ages of uh, Niji Sanji holding a freaking pistol to the back of these VTubers' heads. Yeah. Emo! I don't... I did my okay, Are you a doctor yet? Are you a doctor yet? That, 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 I'm years old. that is another thing. Do we know that they were being forced to say all this? Let's or? just say by the way, at least two of them felt like it because let's just say the way they were talking, it felt so mechanical and clear that they were reading see, from a paper. That, yeah. that honestly is no upsetting. No guarantees, man, you. If, yeah. if they are being forced to that, that means, do they even agree with us? It's likely they don't. I mean, not that, to I know, but disagree. that's... It also means that the company is so filthy and corrupt that they are using their biggest V... Well, their remaining bigger VTubers to essentially preface their statements. Seriously. Wait, so so pretty much they're hiding behind their VTubers. Pretty much. And whether the VTubers are... that is wrong. If you're so against this, you actually take the sand and say it. Don't hide behind your freaking employees. But they're known for doing that. A few days after this, the CEO of Nijisanji itself would make his own 15 minute video. I saw that. Where he would throw the most silver tone corporate bullshit apology and do a deep bow. 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 Which in Japanese culture is is the corporate sign for yeah, we fucked up. But hey, 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 it will be negligible. 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 The The impact on our finances will be negligible. 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 I, I got it. Negligible. The Negligente. Deep, the really deep bow is basically <laughs> their way of saying, mea culpa, I'm at fault, Let I'm making this right, but since he's saying it on behalf of the company, the company is supposedly... They're just trying to save face. What's, yeah. yeah. What's even funnier is that if you guys actually look up this video... <laughs> Steve, it, it all basically translates out to a 15-minute long version of... We have investigated ourselves and have found that yeah. we have committed no wrongdoing. Allow me to offer you something yep. for contrast. Around this, this is just complete coincidence. But at the same time this video came out, the CEO of the other company, the well-known and much beloved Hololife, Mr. Yep. Yago himself, showed up holding a plush of Pecora, his number one VTuber, to personally congratulate her for reaching like a milestone and becoming the most beloved streamer of the whole company. Nice! Congratulations, Pecora. Hey. I don't know who you are, but congratulations. He also made his own music video dancing with his mascots just to promote the summer oh. festival. Hey. That's, cool. That's pretty dope. This is where the rumor came that if, if you ask anybody in Hololife who is the best girl, it's that guy over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's okay, so, so cool. here's the thing. If you actually really care about your employees, you show it. Yeah. If you yeah. literally don't give a shit, we'll, you do something we'll like find this. it out. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So that's much. why I say if those YouTubers were being forced to say this, I do feel bad because, I mean, you can't really say no, can you? The problem is yeah. that we know that, she, according to what she stated, that she experienced the harassment not just by the corpos, but by her own co-workers as well. Now, to her credit, she doesn't want to point fingers. But the results, I do believe, speak for themselves. In the exact look same at that part. chart. Those are the this subscribers the they board. lost. Oh. Now, look all the way at the bottom real quick. I can't. Ah, oh, damn, they don't show the whole thing? Well, there's another VTuber who actually gained subscribers because she... Not openly, but she stood for her fellow co-worker who had to leave. And let's just say the fans understand. Even if the company tried to screw her over by sabotaging her own first stream after this event. Okay, uh, down here the total. I can't see that. Actually, Angel... Um, I can read this. 
Oh, you can? Box Akuma lost 10,000 subscribers. Ha! I Cleveland, 3,000. Shuyamiyo, 2,000. Alban Knox, 1,000. Emma Alouette, 4,000. Uli Bayokea, 2,000. Elbira Pandora, 8,000. Mile Parfait, 4,000. Sony Briscoe, 1,000. 3,000 for Fianna Ryugu and another 3,000 for Petra Giun. Renzetta, 2,000. Rosemi Lovelock, oh, that's a shame, I like her work, 4,000. Folger Obid, 1,000. Remuendo, 3,000. Maria Marionette, another 2,000. Scarlett Yonagui, 3,000. Aster Arcadia, 1,000. And Anne Amare, 2,000. For a total of 59,000 subscribers lost. Well, within, within a single day. Ouch. With a total of reaching about 115,000 within the past 30 days on that. Mm. Holy that's, shit. That's Man. a lot of people. That is not that enough is to destroy the whole... The likes of which I haven't seen a long time. That is time. not enough to destroy their fan bases. But you gotta admit... This level of loss of personal and fans is massive because the company just keeps shoving their foot into their mouth as deep as it can possibly go. Oh yeah, that's still a huge black eye as far as PR goes. That's still a huge blow to their PR. Okay, Indeed. real quick though. Take a look. Gene Rick went ahead and threw in a 299 oh, super nice. sticker. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very the much. the exercise peach pear thing. Hells yeah. Yeah, Hells yeah. She's almost at 600k. Hot damn, unbelievable. It's been less uh, than a week, like Aaron guys. Cooper saying that uh, legal filings are public, even in Canada? Even if you uh, put in for uh, anonymity? Or, you know, like, uh, identity protection? Well, yeah, no, Can it's you? it's genuinely ridiculous. And even if they were public, you can't really okay, call okay. it doxing right. because, hey, if you specifically request it, they can just censor your name from the procedures. So, you know, to protect your identity from that kind of crap. I mean, here in Florida, criminal charges are public for the sake of the safety of the average civilian. I feel like more states should do that, honestly. But even they know when to, like, remove certain aspects for the protection of innocent witnesses and shit like that. Needless to say, the company has completely shot itself in the foot even harder. And every action they've taken only shows that Doki Bird was writing talking mad shit about them, so you know what? That's the best part because she called her fandom dragoons again. Because you cannot copyright the word dragoon because it's the name of a military yep. unit, yep. right? Yep. What do dragoons do? They kill giant greedy beasts that hoard treasure. Yes, yep. they also tenderly bounce back. That's yeah. it. Always <laughs> bounce back. You know, and, and they and they really like the floor for some reason. Listen, it's called floor tanking, <laughs> and it's an art. I mean, you have to tank the floor. Yeah. that has aggro too. Exactly. You know it's what? Not you're just not just a boss. Yeah, I'm yeah, you're speaking as a dragoon. I'm looking at your fun. You tank the floor <laughs> so much. It's I raise your butt. It <laughs> certainly is a reversal of fortunes for both Doki Bird and Niji Sanji. Whereas Doki Bird raised your ass. I know. I love you too. All right, but yeah, we can all agree it certainly is a reversal of fortunes between Doki Bird and Niji Sanji, whereas Doki Bird is able to not only c c keep her fan base but expand on it and and reach over six uh, nearly six hundred thousand uh, subscribers. Niji Sanji, even though it's not a big hit, it's still a hit nonetheless, and that's gonna and that's gonna damage that's gonna ruin their company public image for a while. It is. It's not just ruining their company; it's also ruining their reputation. Many uh, independent VTubers, I will not give names, have come up with their own mentions, going like, "Yeah, no, I took advice from a friend to not apply to Niji Sanji," and turns out that some bitch was right. In fact, a previous VTuber who left under some really controversial circumstances, her name is Sayu now. It has become like knowledge that everybody just goes, yeah, no, she was right. She was 100% right. It was a horrible idea to work for these people. And the fact that they are, oh, yeah, no, somebody, re they've been releasing rumors all over the place, especially on the 4chan boards. So you got to take those with a grain of, grain salt. of grain salt, salt, a bucket of salt. But they're basically commenting from relatively confidential and, according to them, reliable sources that Niji Sanji is going out of his way to screw over their English branch. They are basically just dumping all the problems they don't want in there to the point that the English mm -hmm. branch barely has management, barely has help, and they barely make their money back. Especially that one very telling clip that is still floating on the internet of a VTuber basically going, oh, you want to know how much money I get from Merc sales? <laughs> 2 percent if I'm lucky. And then he immediately tries to backpedal and I'm like, that was a nice moment of honesty you dropped in there. You bring, up a, good, you bring up a good point, Angel. Um, Doki Bird splitting away and 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 pursuing legal action against uh, Niji Sanji. That's just the first major fissure to hit the company. Like more and eventually, like I'm trying not to predict. Well, I do, sometimes I have a good habit of predicting the future. Please do bad habit. A bad habit. And maybe you should more, actually uh, play more, the lotto. 
more and more VTubers will uh, who who are associated with Niji Sanji will be sp- will be speaking out over the uh, over the course of the rest of the year. It is possible. Should they have the inclination? Because you got to remember those Japanese contracts are pretty brutal. Brutal. Like, one brutal. of the three VTubers there, Arai, cannot le- leave the company because they moved to Japan just to work through Niji Sanji. Oh, so they mm, they cannot yeah. just uproot their whole lifehood. So. Unfortunately, but we yeah, ha- we, 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 we have it on, on uh, with reliable sources telling us that when you woke up today, you brushed your teeth for exactly two minutes and 16 seconds. Your contract legally states that you must brush Which your question? teeth within two minutes. You want 16 seconds over. Hold We're penalizing on. you ten thousand dollars. Oh Wait a shit, minute. man! We have confidential Come on, man! I got that kids when you to feed. Today, you spoke to more than three men in like your falafel? daily commute. Do you have an idea what the fans will do if they know VTubers are talking to men? We can't have that shit. So, They'll commit domestic terrorism. Consider yourself suspended for the next three weeks. So, can you just imagine, as like whatever you you have as a job right now, that you put in money. And then you barely right. even get like yeah, what one fourth of that back. Barely. Can you freaking imagine that? Don't forget. I would be pissed. Yeah. Don't forget. After selling, well, rather, Doki Bird's tumultuous exit, the company tried to bury that shit under a merchandise sales. They are still selling her merchandise, and predictably, they're not giving her a goddamn cent back. Hell because the VTuber no. company well, I mean, owns the models. If they're only getting two so percent, how much would that be? <laughs> Clearly not That's enough. Two percent and nothing. I mean, right? the fact, uh, <laughs> pennies. The fact that she had fifteen k to burn on a music video is pretty telling of her, you know, her earnings. But the fact that she had to burn fifteen k of her own money just to make yeah. a goddamn music video. Wait, wait, wait. So why is it that she, if if this is for her company, well, her now ex company, why does she need to put in that freaking money? Shouldn't technically the Company oh, they should. Yeah, they should. But they so. didn't want her to. They didn't. Uh, they, 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 they didn't want the that contract. music video. Oh, they didn't it's approve the of it. Yeah. It wasn't no. their idea. Because it wasn't they on did, their list. It wasn't on their checklist of th- ways yeah, to like, promote uh, themselves. No, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. But I talked to the. But I, to, but but I talked to the sing the, the song maker and I he approved. I have the song maker. It's cool. We had documentation proving that she's. A, I signed yeah. it. Where did she go? Excuse me. You signed documentation. Yeah. Tell me what type of pen did you use i use this office pen like this normal blue fool pen. what you're supposed to use iron gall ink pens ah for real it's in the contract go we're finding the... you three thousand dollars go to the <laughs> go to the office I of the accountant the point, guys. i go to the office of the accountant it is finally time dip, 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 to once again charge people horrible money three thousand doubloons sorry <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the like official japanese coin yen, yen. 300,000 yen. yen. Oh all right, all right. No, no, it's a calligraphy brush. 3,000 won. The. The. Obviously. <laughs> so, folks, of course, this is going to be one of the many stories that we're going to continue following up on as the situation develops between Niji Sanji <laughs> and any other, and and and, and Doki Bird and this any other VTubers. not the last time These we're idiots. This, so no, it's not. These idiots cannot stop shooting themselves in the foot. The best part about I it love is, it. The best part is, despite being the most negatively affected by this, Doki Bird has gone out of her way to go, guys. Don't attack anybody. Don't point fingers. Just let the lawyers handle this shit. She made this long ass Twitter post going, "My lawyer has advised me to keep this shit private, and I done my best to do so. But if they are talking about it, then I'm gonna have to talk to my lawyer to see what we can talk about because I'm not gonna shove my foot in my mouth. In the meantime, please do not harass or insult anybody. Let okay. the lawyers handle mm-hmm. this shit." By the way, uh, I'm going to go play Batman Arkham Asylum. She played Batman Arkham Asylum. Yay! She's a fucking psychopath. Coolness. <laughs> that makes perfect I'm sense. No, no wonder you love her so much. I saw a clip of her just standing. You know that scene at the beginning where the, the area gets flooded with Joker gas and you're supposed to move quickly to save the, the, the dying like guards? Yes. Did she yeah. just stay there? She just kind of stayed yeah. there going, why are you guys sitting there? Come on! <laughs> I'm like, oh, this bird is a fucking psychopath. All <laughs> right. Well, let, well no on, the sub- so much. on the subject of video gaming, so let's actually move on to the final article that we have here. <laughs> and uh, Angel, you got some good news first, right? No. This isn't good news. No. My friend, I bring no good news. I bring news Gaming from the front. Technically, it's good for me. Yeah, you guys, for me as well. Listen to me. I am a Weasels, veteran of this you? conflict. What? We have been in this stupid war for over 20 years. And for a surprising change of pace, gentlemen, the balance of power in the console wars is about to change. Oh, it's oh no. It is tipping. <laughs> it is surprising. Okay, okay. Uh, context time. 
The console wars. Everybody loves the console wars because it's let's be honest, tipping. nature's like the nature of humanity is one of conflict. Look at sports. Listen. It's conflict one, without murder. I don't hate intentionally. you. Intentionally. Do you hate me? There are days. Good. <laughs> Now, obviously, we cannot fault out and work our frustrations with anger and hatred because that would be bad for us. And because yeah. if you kill me, my brother is going to be upset. And if I kill you, your wife is going to be upset. Yeah. And I like your wife. She's a nice lady. She cooks good food for me. Damn so right. the point I'm getting to is sports. Kay. People in sports don't hate each other. In fact, I dare say they won't even remember who the other guy is. But you know I, mean, I, I can um, disagree with that just because the rivalries. Yeah. But I know. Go that's on. the point. But here's the deal. I don't know who the other guy is. I don't know why they're cheering for the other team. But you know what I know? I know that it's fun to dress in my team's colors, paint my face in my team's colors, grab a flag with my team's colors, get some overpriced popcorn and beer, and tell those other guys on the side of the stadium to go eat a thousand dicks. It's fun. People fucking love conflict because we need an excuse to have fun. We and need an excuse to be angry. Yes. And the excuse in this case is... Without murdering. Fuck you, my console is better than you. And that has pretty much devolved into a complete shit fest for the last 23 or so years. <laughs> That's an uh, understatement. Between the... Att- big understatement. Exactly. You are right, uh, Struggler. Taking a sold like 2 million copies. Good shit, by the way. Yay. So, as, of long as, as long as we have known, ever since the third generation of fancy consoles came out with the PlayStation and Nintendo have been at each other's throats for a long time. Then, mm-hmm. during the third generation time, Microsoft threw its hat into the ring by bringing the Xbox. And to their credit, they brought some good shit with the Xbox. Then, the proper third generation mm-hmm. began with the Xbox 360 sweeping the competition. I still have a 360. And exactly. they gave the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3, it just which for did one not, game. in fact, sweep the competition for the longest time. Then... A monumental event happened. Just as it happens with many conflicts, the Xbox made its own mistakes because they got really obsessed with the Kinect technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! And they also I began to release. I remember buying a Kinect. It was not worth it. And they began to release some stinkers. Meanwhile, the PS3 actually got its shit together. The price went down. The library went up. People could actually play video games, and there were some damn good video games. Oh, However, oh, yeah. that was not the nail in the Xbox coffin. No, no, oh. no, no, no. The Xbox coffin nail came with five words. Okay. We would like to pray. Nintendo. After falling behind in the console generation, because the GameCube sadly did not sell as much Aww. as it could. Which is sad because it has we a really good game. Good We're playing a game. Okay, okay. I know a really good one. We loved our game. Well, oh, we Nintendo decided store. that it was time to shake the status quo and they came in with the Wii, which, despite people making fun of the gimmick, actually sold a shit ton of money. I'm not kidding. Nah. I, uh, I, yeah, hey. Oh, you're I a bought there. a Wii. You say that now. I bought a Wii. Yeah, it was we fucking For one game. For one which game. game. Which game? Skyward Sword, right? No. No? Which one? Which one? Which Okami. one? Okami. Okami was great. Uh, was no, no. Okami was so much better on the other. I bought for Okami for No More Heroes. Is, um, no. Sorry. I think it was Spectrobe's Origin. It, yes. Yes, 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 it was. Spectrobe's Holy it was Shit. <laughs> I love Spectrobe's. I bought it for... Uh, the Wii gave us brawl parties. Yeah. The Wii gave us Super Smash Brothers brawl. It was wonderful. I yeah. Bought I bought it for, for that. Spectrums. No More Heroes, Okami, and Okami. the game that would become the prequel to Anarchy Reigns, the Max Anarchy game. The black and white game. Cool. Yeah, yeah. we know. Point talking. in case is, the Wii U, contrary to people making fun of its motion gimmick, That's the Wii. had a genuinely good motion gimmick, and it genuinely if sold If you didn't it. smack people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that strap is there for a reason. If you did it, it goes like this, and it goes flying across the room. That's, That's why you put the reason. strap on, people. No, even with the strap, people still would be flinging it. No, because there's no people. Yeah, because they, people they let go. Because they let go. You mean it's Okay. Look at that. His Careful. wrist will <laughs> strangle you. I want, I want right. Wemo chunks. Right. Well, no, no. So hard. No. No, no. Because you do that, and then it ends up slipping out of your hands, and then it goes whack. Also, this goes whack. Also, or it whacks your TV. Two so words for you. Or yourself. Guys, guys. Oh, God, you're right. Two words for you. Eh. Just dance. <laughs> yes, yes. I have just yeah. danced, but it wasn't on fucking it. Wii. Yes. Point in case, we all played oh. it. The Wii came in with a lot of really good titles, a somewhat you know accessible periphery, but more importantly, innovation. It's, it sold itself as a family console. It was Every fun. commercial for the Wii, yes. you see the family, the pa- the dad, the mom, the kids playing together, yes. and that really built it up because the audience will buy what you sell them if you sell them good. And those commercials that go, "Yo, dog." Everybody can play these games. They really... So, do you know what is one of the most Wii sold out Wii games ever? Which one? What? The Wii Sports Resort. Yeah. Wii Sports, yeah. yep. It's fun. It's just fun and it won. It kicked ass. Then came the next leg of the competition. 
PlayStation 4, Xbox 720, Xbox One, and the Wii U. Now, in this one, Nintendo fell behind because the Wii U, the Wii U sadly did not sell nearly as much as it should. Despite yeah. having some good, uh, some, it had good, some games. good games, but it just didn't it, capture it, the same it feeling. It Meanwhile, really Xbox and PlayStation were going head to head until once again Xbox shoots itself in the foot. During their big conference, they come out saying that the game is going to introduce what would eventually become the horror of live services and always online, which predictably people were not very happy about. Especially when they outright told you that you couldn't trade physical games and copies because they were planning to go full digital if they could help it. And PlayStation 4 saw that disaster. Hold on! Of them. No, 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 Angel. <laughs> this requires illustration. And they decided to capitalize on it. This requires illustration, okay? I'm going to show you guys. So for you fine folks at home, go ahead and click on that. This is 22 seconds. This will probably ding, but I could not be bothered to care. Well, I could. What? Well, we'll watch it over here for ourselves. PlayStation. Okay. Allow me to see. This is how you share your games on PS4. Step one. Oh. Hang on a minute. I got I got ahead because we didn't let me put in the article over there the thing. Hang on. Nye and nye and nye. Live tech work. Yay. Step one, sharing the game. Uh... Thanks. That Yay! was it! That's it? <laughs> That yeah, was right. it. Yeah, that I, was wonderful. I never would have thought fuck that you would just give the game to someone. Yeah, and, and they, they can pop use it, it in there <gasps> and play the wow. same game. Wow! What a concept! What the future is here. Yeah. Can you imagine Dear that? Brother, the extraordinary groundbreaking it. power of sharing is caring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was. Like, hey, look! You will like this game. Here you go. Yay! Thank hey, you. Hey, can I borrow there. that game? It looks fun. Here you go. Something so simple should not be complicated. I know. And of course, mind you, that was not the only thing they did. They also emphasized that the PlayStation 4 was going to be a lot more indie friendly, mainly because the PS3 is a goddamn nightmare to program for. <laughs> yes. So they're basically saying, we're not just bringing out big titles, we're working with smaller creators to give you more buried games. And even if you don't like it, it's nice to have more. And then they nailed it in the coffin by revealing that the PS4 was going to be $100 cheaper than Xbox. Yes. Needless yes. to say, Xbox got his ass kicked for the majority of this thing. Then came the next leg of the competition, the one we're in right now. Xbox is still Xboxing. The PlayStation 5 has been a complete goddamn disaster, now only getting proper games more than like nearing the end of its life cycle. And Nintendo has been coasting the fucking monitoring because the Switch turned out to be the best goddamn thing they could make. Yeah. Yes. Both a home and a portable console with a shit ton of good games, great titles, and admittedly not the strongest hardware, graphics design, weak, but who gives a shit? Is it fun? Yes! Do you remember fun? Yes. Is fun allowed? Yes! Fun Would you like allowed. to pray? Yes, I would like no. to play. Yeah, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> but needless to we say, like to play. The, la the big ones, Xbox and PlayStation, have been going head to head without doing any proper, you know, like, Anything progress recently. Progressive. The most recent PlayStation show showed a bunch of really cool games that people are really interested in, and Xbox kind of has been doing fuck all. They haven't really released hey, anything. Hey, did you like Halo Infinite? Halo was this nice. This is why I like I'm, I'm team PlayStation. Oh. Would you like to take away the uh, the split screen? Oh. Would you like to take away being able to uh, to build your arenas? Am I in hell? Would you like to not have a story? Am I? <laughs> no, you're not in hell. You're in Halo Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Adam Embassy. Can I speak with Adam real quick? Yeah, just just send them in. Just no. send them in right now. We're done. <laughs> oh just send goodness. them in. Just, I'm going to wait for you at the entrance, and I'm just going to bow my head. Just cut it off. Do me a favor. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Needless to say, the fight has been going on with no winning side. Nintendo is riding high with good titles, relatively affordable hardware, and a really fun console. PlayStation 5 is finally getting some good games in the future. I mean, Jesus, it took like four fucking years. It's still expensive as shit, but at least there's mm -hmm. video games. And Xbox just kind of has been resting on its laurels. So everybody was waiting for this big Xbox announcement that was coming on last week. Everybody expected a presentation, you know, some new titles. Something to entice it, because Microsoft is relying on the might of Steam to keep itself alive. And let's be honest, their Xbox Live Service Gold Pass, whatever the hell, has been a spectacular failure let's not, let's not forget their recent acquisition of our other favorite punch uh, corporate punching bag <sighs> activision, activision blizzard. blizzard we yeah. can't forget that yeah they basically say we're gonna get bigger and then they staple a trash back to the side of their car we're the biggest company ever the trash is g filled with hazardous waste i'm just gonna set it on fire okay? there's infectious syringes sticking out of it yeah needless to say people are not holding much hope for xbox 
And I am happy to say that all the hope is completely gone now. Man who thought I'd lost all hope loses additional bit of hope he didn't even knew he had. And because according to the Birch... <laughs> yes. Yep, that's the headline, yep, the headline reads, <laughs> quote, Microsoft 4, uh, Microsoft 4 Xbox exclusive games are coming to PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch. Microsoft is starting off with just four games, but there could be many more in the future. Oh my and this God. article is provided by Tom, oh, no, yeah, is Tom it Tom Warren. Warren? Yep, by Tom Warren on February 15th. 15th, thank you. It is official. Microsoft is bringing some Xbox exclusives to PS5 and Nintendo Switch. It is part of a broader strategy shift. Translation, panic. Inside <laughs> Microsoft's gaming business to grow gains beyond the company's deflating wallets. We made the decision that we're going to take our four games to the other consoles, reveals Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer Fuck you! on the official Xbox podcast. <laughs> Bizarrely, Microsoft is refusing to name those titles. Wait. But the, wow. but the company the says that they are two community-driven games and the other two are smaller titles. This sounds like bullshit to me. What the this fuck does that even like mean? sounds like absolute bullshit. Like, why not just tell us the games, dude? Seriously. Sources familiar with Microsoft's plans tell me that the first two titles will be Hi-Fi Rush and Pentinent, followed by Sea of Thieves and Grounded. Spencer wow, claims Grounded? that it hasn't Yeah, Grounded. I know, right? Wow. <laughs> Spencer wow. claims that there hasn't been a change to the companies doing Xbox exclusives. Play Grounded? Yet. At the same time, he also thinks that there will be fewer console exclusives above the industry for the next... Like, this is the gunshot that signals the end. Like, wow. Wow. Nice okay. This is Grounded, the assassination yeah. of Frank Ferdinand. I mean, oh it, my God. Take me out. Angel, uh, the, I didn't even know... I thought that Hi-Fi Rush was available on PC, on Steam. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's, it, so but it's that not... is Microsoft. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, but this is going out to PlayStation and Switch. Okay, I well, can live with that because yeah. I like that. Yeah, but here's the problem. What? What if I'm the only man that plays an Xbox? Why well, could you take this from me? My oh, exclusives. Oh, my no. precious Cry exclusives. Gone with the wind. Cry and weep. So, all right. So <laughs> on the Xbox podcast, Spencer said this, and I quote, I do have a fundamental belief that over the next five or ten years, exclusive games, games that are exclusive to one piece of hardware, are going to be a smaller and smaller part of the game industry. Sounds like hope and yeah. seek to me. This Literally, I, I honestly just think um, exclusive things are just stupid. Just everyone wants to play these games. No. Just let everyone play the damn games. Okay, here's the problem, though. I'm cool with you playing the game, but I want you to buy my console for it. I'm never going to buy Xbox or Then I guess you're not getting hey, this I, game. Oh, I, no, the game I is cool. I'm sorry, I but... I get my feet in the Xbox water. Trying, uh, trying to, to buy one console is already expensive. Yeah, it yes. is. Buying two, which, I mean... With Sucks Switch, dick. so I have PlayStation, yeah. I have Switch. So it, it's, again, it's expensive. I'm not buying fucking three. But no. I guess you're no. not getting no. all these exclusive games that only go for the Xbox. Oh, I guess I'll just get it on PC then. No! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. PC! That's literally how I solved the Xbox thing. PC. Oh, it's on PC, it's on Steam. Okay, I'll just okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean, wait, we, wait. Have, we have a laptop, we got wait a Steam. Are you there telling you me go. that, uh, so this fish is not exclusive to your aquarium? I can just find it right there in the sea, right? Yeah, yeah. So that means I don't have to pay you for the fishing pole. I can just go there and fish it myself. Oh. Right? Yeah. Prep the boat. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yard, yard, fiddly dee, et cetera. Oh. Let's go ahead and continue on with this article here. Please. Yes, indeed. So Microsoft is framing this move as just four games that the company mm. can l learn from, testing the waters, if you will. But rumors have suggested that Microsoft's ambitions for multi-platform games go much deeper. Starfield, <laughs> Starfield was rumored for PlayStation Five, as and I report, and well, the person reported earlier this month that Microsoft has been considering launching Indiana Jones on PS Five mm. months mm. after its Xbox launch. I mean, in, Indy wouldn't like yes. a beautiful thing to remain away from the eyes of the public. He it belongs in a museum. He yeah. would put it in a museum so everybody could see it, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, Indy. <laughs> I mean. Who doesn't like Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones is great. I love it. Yep. Even I if the last Indiana movie Jones. was shit, the previous ones were still fun. Mm -hmm. Spencer confirms that Starfield and Indiana Jones are not part of the first four games. Yet. 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 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he doesn't but rule out. But he doesn't rule out the possibility for these titles to arrive on PS5 in the future. I don't think we should, as an industry, ever rule out a game going to another platform, says Spencer in an interview with The Birch. We are focused on these four games and learning from the experience. Translation, we want to see how much money this makes. Then we'll think of sending more shit there. We don't have work going on. Wow. 
on other franchises, but for anybody to stand up and say something's never going to happen, I think it feels like creating more centrality in a world of gaming where you really want to respond to what customers want and what our players and creators are looking for. That is actually a pretty good statement. He's being really based here. Okay. The problem is, those words go against everything the industry has been doing the last four uh, years or something. Yeah. It's great. Like, he really is the gaming pope. Holy shit. Man, fuck this guy anyway. No, no, but he really is the pope. But fuck this guy. Though. Why? What did he do to you? How many marshmallows have we eaten in the last year and a half? He has nothing to do with the yeah, merger. He has nothing to do with the merger, though. He handles the gaming and, like, Publicity division. He's he's yeah. the PR guy. He's the present. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm gonna he's shoot here all the messengers. To give you know why? Because he sends a message. Is he that... wants to give forgiveness to the Xbox. See, I you would can go away. I would like it because, like, I the only time I ever wanted to get Xbox is to play the Fable series, and yeah. nice I refuse to, to buy an Xbox. Yep. So the only time I have an Xbox Fable is on PC. I know it's on PC, but I wanted it on PlayStation. See, PC. Oh, 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 so she's not complaining about the console war on this side. She just wants to be on that side. That's how it is. I see. Oh, oh, I see. Miss loyalty over here. Well, also, you, I, I haven't seen Fable go on sale for a bit. So PC master race. <laughs> I, I like to get things on sale. I think, okay. I, and I, I last time I, I never saw. I would actually one have to see Steam. how many Xbox games I had. I gotta be honest with you. I got uh, a 360. Five. I, I think, think it's I only five. had like five or ten. I got a 360 for Maybe. two reasons. What's up? Tales of Vesperia, which came already on PS4, so Vesperia. I already have my copy of that. And all the be the limited edition from Japan with all the extra content too. Nice Ooh. shit. Cool. Yeah, you can just buy it now. And the other one was Gears of War, which was a fantastic <laughs> game, and I really hope that one comes over. But I gotta be honest with you, while I did consider both consoles, it wasn't PlayStation just for being good that got me. It's because I'm biased. I started with PS1 when I got to this country. And more importantly, I don't like the feel of an Xbox controller. No. It feels yeah. so bad. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> As someone who played Xbox, yeah. I don't She like gave it. me the controller and it's like, okay, uh, yes, play a little bit of this. And she I'm dropped like, it. You can I it. hate this. We can it. see our biases in the type she of video games it. that we hold and the kind yeah. of content. I, just so, like the con look, I feel like PlayStation nailed the perfect controller and yes. no one has been able to match that. Like, because it feels right in your hands. Okay, yeah. dig this though. Like over here at our ho at, at our home over here, we've got our PlayStation Four, which we use constantly over here. But how, but what other consoles do you see there? We see our we, Wii. We have our Nintendo Wii. We have a Nintendo 64. We also have a Nintendo Switch. All up for us to be able to play at any goddamn time. You know what I don't see there? What? I don't see an Xbox in there. That's because yeah. K-Storm has the Xbox held hostage in our bedroom. Yeah, that's because she only plays Skyrim on that thing. And Actually, not really. She's play been that playing Dragon everywhere. Age. She also played... Oh, you mean other Skyrim? Yeah, and Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, you mean yes. Space Skyrim. <laughs> Space it's, Rimming. It's true. It's yes. true. Oh, I, I still imagine. love Storm. Of course. I'll give a damn. Listen, everybody has their flaws. Learning like, to love them despite their flaws is what gives you true happiness. You're freaking nuts. Like, freaking, freaking massive. Jose, I, like, just to, uh, just actually massive. get into the point of it, um, we Shepherd. scrolled down to the bit of uh, the... Shepherd. 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 We went down to, this, uh, the, uh, to the rest of this Shepherd. article. Shepherd. I think Shepherd. Jose would be very well suited to actually get this in. Hey, yeah, right? absolutely. All right. Some calibrations. Folks, Dragon kids, thing. please. Thank you. All right. So, why does Microsoft need to launch Xbox exclusives on Money. rival platforms? Money. Money. The company talks Money. of a need for Xbox to evolve, quote, to ensure long-term success for both Xbox and the industry as a whole. I gave Money. Money. Microsoft Translation. Gaming. The line Money. is not going up as high as we want. Right. <laughs> Microsoft's gaming... Whoa, Juan, you scroll too fast. Sorry, that. Microsoft's gaming business are, uh, just grew to be bigger than the Windows division thanks to the Activision Blizzard acquisition, so it's not in trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. Really? <laughs> the, anything, you paid them a couple billion trouble. dollars for a trash fire. Nice going. The Xbox business as a whole still needs to get bigger, though. Microsoft's Xbox Series S and X consoles uh, sales lag behind Sony's PlayStation 5. <laughs> wow, imagine doing worse than Sony's PS5. And Spencer previously admitted its Xbox Game Pass subscriptions were slowing down. I wonder content, why. Re content revenue then could be a good source of growth. See, I love how they're trying to make it all civilized and fancy and educated, but it boils down to, we are not making nearly enough money to justify buying fucking Blizzard. We are losing to the PS5. We are losing to a console that literally has no game. Oh, God. The console is about to have games. 
Is that Hideo Kojima? The thing is, most of the Xbox <laughs> games require a subscription to play. Yeah. And, I mean, and you, you have to have plus an internet connection, live yes. service. Don't say yeah. what you want about PlayStation, but, but I don't have to pay PS Plus if I want to play their games. Yeah, yeah PlayStation you really games, don't need it. You Slap don't need there. it. Unless you're going online. And that's only for... But I only use that to mo for section. Monster Hunter, and I don't need that anymore because I played on PC. And I use yeah. that for Final Fantasy fourteen, which I don't need anymore because I... Play it on PC. Yeah, and, and and also, I mean, I'm sorry, but like, um, if you get the best PlayStation thing, there's so many games. There's so, so many games. Like, say what you will about PlayStation is inability to actually it fucking sell the large, the classics, they man. Have a massive yes. library. The classic library. You could it's still, insane. you could still be, you know, YouTube. going through all the games. They have Ratchet and Clank. I, I mean, shit. Look at all the. I mean, look at it this way. PlayStation was released in 1997, the first one. Eight. Right? Eight, the first Eight. one. How early? Wow. And it's been slowly building. No, no, wait. It was 97. You're right. Thank you. 97. And in those 25, six years, it has built an enormous wait. library of both classic no, and modern titles. No, you're right, Jose. It wasn't 97 because it was going head to head. I thought it was 95. The, no, yeah, you, you, you figured out, Jose, because I, I check know. This out. Live researching. One, Live research. Yay. Oh, my That's God. December 1994. Four. Wow. Holy, oh, holy shit. shit! That means that I that console four years is old. <laughs> give me my due. Years old. Damn. I can't. I, I, I can't give you the due. The, meanwhile, the can't I know. Meanwhile, the first <laughs> Xbox released in two thousand one. So PlayStation already had more than half a decade ahead on it with titles that have literally redefined the industry. Wait, hang on a minute. November two thousand one. Yeah. Let me see. November two thousand. Where? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> November. Hang on a second. <clears throat> November 15, 2001. Yep, I remember because that is the same month and the console was released, um, um, what's the term I'm looking for, uh, simultaneously with uh, Halo. Exactly. They came in swinging strong, let's not deny that. They have some incredibly good titles, but they stuck to a specific niche, which was shooting. Shooting. And shooting yeah. boom, boom. to their credit, they were really damn good at shooting. But they at the were, same time, they, they focused really so much on it that it felt like the rest of their titles fell ahead. Like, if I say Xbox, you think... Halo. 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 Do you think of anything else? No. 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 I'm st like, admittedly, I am biased. I don't play nearly as much Xbox. But you say Halo, and I don't really think... But when I say PlayStation... So, so many things okay. come to mind. Holy Metal shit. Gear Solid, Final Fantasy. Uh, let's see here. Crash Bandicoot. Yep. Like, non-stop. And if I say Nintendo, like, that goes without saying. Nintendo, yeah. Super, Mario. Super Mario, Sonic. Ironically, despite not now having... Now we have Sonic. <laughs> despite not having, Nintendo. like, an official mascot <laughs> series like Nintendo does, yeah. PlayStation has done its job in cementing itself as a continuous giant industry of a thing that is rememberable. That P and that S are going to be fucking there forever. Yes. And even despite all the difficulties <laughs> they have... Look how excited people got when fucking PlayStation 500 reveals, yo dog, we still have games. People are still excited for it because most of the time the result is usually good. Xbox lag behind on the grounds of not having enough content, having most of their good content locked behind paywalls. Steam, ironically, is their worst enemy because it's connected <laughs> to them. And most of the time you go, why do I need to buy it on Xbox when yeah, I can just get yeah, it on, it, on yeah. Steam with a better connection too? And we're and getting Lawbreakers has... on Steam. You can, you can pre-order on Steam. <laughs> and it has a lot <laughs> so more on. games on yeah. Steam. There's also you have a, fat... a ton of games on Steam. <laughs> you have fat... indie <laughs> games that sometimes are not on either yeah. of them. And unfortunately, they have have completely embraced the Bliss Klasinki 69.99 multiplayer only only bullshit because their games are getting more expensive. Clearly. God knows the games are getting more expensive. Yes. I'm sorry, Fuck. but why are games getting so more expensive when now they're pretty much only digital only and yeah. you know you don't have to pay Greed. for shipping Greed. for physical shit money okay money okay look do I do I have I, I guess I have to show it again. I'm sorry. You're asking the most you 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 are asking the most basic of questions. No, it's just it's reiterating. No, 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 it's Diana, you bring you bring this up and you brought this up on yourself in this in, in, in this Oh no, Juan, you're yes, doing it. Yes, I am. No, yes, I am. One yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, Angel, oh, my dear brother. Is it time? Uh, uh, hold I, on. I, nope, I did it first. Oh no. Go up. No, that's not how it, that's not how it goes. No, nope, go up, bitch. That, that's not how it goes there. Motherfucker. That's not how it line goes. Line goes up right oh here. Oh my god, you guys. All hail the line. Line goes up. Just a reminder, we have the shirt all available on our Teespring store. If you go line to teespring.com and go to the Ravens flock. All hail the line. Sir, I have breaking line. news. What? Did you see anything? <laughs> no, sir. I think you saw you playing with your line, sir. 
All right. <laughs> I More think that's a blind goes up. To okay, you one so, last detail here so to basically, show you how um, this is. we need to have a shirt big enough to fit both of you in it. Got it. Yeah. Allow me to show you <laughs> okay. why the purchase yeah, of this shirt. whole Blizzard thing has just been a terrible mistake. Okay. As you know, Diablo 4 came out recently. What's the matter? Well, you can't, wait, don't it you costs people own cell phones? Seventy dollars to play to that's own the stupid. game. It is online only. That is it stupid. has live service. That is stupid. And recently, they released this DLC. It's a horse. That's a pretty cool horse. That's a nice horse. It's called the Crystal Clad Steed. Ooh, it's, it's a cool. cool. It's a cosmetic. It looks like one of those festivals. Guess how the much does this damn thing cost? How does it how much does it cost? Thirty bucks. Eighty more. Sixty-four dollars and ninety-nine. Wait, what? Just that horse better suck on my. Okay, wait. Uh, what is you this better from? be getting a real horse it's with that. It's for Diablo 4, a game where you barely even use the mounts to begin okay, with. Okay, does it have any special things? It's a cosmetic. Is there anything else with that DLC? Okay, then. It is a um, I mean, is, are there that. any other things included? It is a horse. I mean, I'm sorry. Horse beyond the horse. No, I would Nothing pay else. maybe five, ten dollars for that yeah. if uh, I really want it. I'm not on, paying man. sixty-five dollars. The fact that you're even willing to pay alone is a problem because that means that these bastards are charging you for a cosmetic. What a game would cost five years ago. Well, yeah. that's the thing. It's like uh, you're you're paying enough money to buy a fucking game. I yeah. Think, yeah, yeah. I think you're paying point... enough money to buy several games. You know, yeah. a few years from now, brother... games are gonna cost like a hundred and twenty bucks. My brothers, fuck they, that they're shit. not understanding. They're, they're they're not understanding it. Oh no, you don't have. I'm gonna strangle you. Juan, I'll hail the line. Uh, Juan, if you get strangled, it's your fault. You're gonna get killed by line. Yes. Okay, <laughs> guys, guys, hands up. in the air. Strangle, no lines. strangle. <laughs> line goes up. Oh now, that but means it. Yeah, go on, Angel, because we got to wrap it up. Thank you. A la linea. As because la this... Linea la linea sube. La anyway, linea sube. Uh, because oh. this is a cosmetic DLC, it is dependent on the fact that the proper plugins are working. So if you are playing Diablo 4 and the servers go down, all of your DLC will cease to you exist. You no longer own it. Which means that when support for this game dries up, and when? Bethesda or Blizzard or whatever the fuck is handling these moves on to the next project, mm -hmm. all of that DLC will no longer exist. Yeah. That's ridiculous. So this what is why I like what is saying? If, the, games, if buying yeah. is not owning, but then physical, then physical, you own. Theft. Also, you know what the saddest yeah. thing about all this is? What? I see mods made for free that make the horse look way better. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious lot. how literally people with their own free time can make. Better things than beautiful the game. Mods. base mods. Beautiful mods. Base too. mods. So I mean, again, yeah. just just look at Skyrim. <gasps> look at all these goddamn mods that are amazing. Let's look at the quality of life Let, mods. Let's not forget that half of those mods are made to make the game run properly in the yes, first place because right. they're yeah. oh shit God, programming. Yeah. And look, they're all for free. Well, all most, of this, it just of works. Them are for free. It just all works. of this, it just works. Yeah, we'll make it work, sir. Uh, we just got the numbers from Starfield. It, it doesn't just work. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And uh, yeah, no. As Angel covered, you know the 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 the, the dynamics and de and de demand for the Xbox, N and Nintendo, and PlayStation. It's all shifted, but not but but Xbox is pretty much looking from afar. Yeah, every war has to have an end. And they have to look their binoculars. They, so they pretty much are saying that they tripped. And the finish line is way over there, yeah. where, you know, Nintendo and PlayStation are. They're looking are. through binoculars at everyone else. PlayStation is hobbling slowly, but he's getting the strength on his legs. Nintendo is fucking going full sprint. Not even Nintendo. No, Nintendo is, like, leisurely hopping on. It doesn't realize it's in a race. It's just, the, it's a hey fun guys, runner. Hey, guys, lobbly day. It, it, on your it's left. Ho it's hobby running. Don't it's hobby, hobby running. running. Exactly. Exactly. Say it. Fun don't, run. you, don't you fucking say it on your left. God uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. It's uh, just it's a sprint. Fun. It's a sprint. It's a light job. But yeah, point in case is this war looks like it's coming to an end, not with complete destruction, not with absolute domination, but with a very tattered white flag being raised over the burning fields. <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, we're fucking winning. PlayStation gets more games. PC gets more games. The only people who Nintendo are losing even gets here, more games. The only people who it's are losing Fox. here are the ones that have Xbox and nothing else because it means that not only are they buying a console for exclusives that don't exist. Everybody else gets their games and their own games too. So, yeah. 
Boned. Ex-boned, that is. Ex-boned. It's Jover for them. It's so Jover, bro. It's ex-over. Ha! <laughs> ex-over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It has never been more ex-over than it is now. I love that. All right. Well, with that, that's going to do it. That's going to conclude today. tonight's edition. You guys have been awesome in the chat. Happy to see everyone interacting, and I'm happy to see some new faces on the chat as well. I'm going to take a look at the last bits of the chat that are in here real quick. I hate uh, the Xbox controller, said the struggler in caps. Yes. Let's see Agreed, here. Especially uh, if you have small hands. Hi, K Storm. Yeah. They used to cross consoles all the time. Well, they still do. It's just like when you have some of the exclusives from Xbox where it's adamant that these will not go any over and they, they lose their exclusivity and that's like okay what's the point of owning xbox if we're not keeping exclusive i hate the controller two struggler i have a small hands well uh, small well that's squad, a lot small whales, hands squad. yeah 60 dollars <laughs> 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 look at her wrist look at this thing yeah you'd think that they would build like yeah. a mini controller Itty bitty. i remember i remember oh, there being oh, my child put, 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 put your South hand Africa. no put your hand around my wrist here, here, here. It's like the Tarzan movie, but like very like, small oh, hands. Oh, oh, um, very is much twice small the hands. Size of yours. Very, very yeah. small. We have, oh, my we hands have so small hands. hands. I'm sorry. I, I can't so help it. It's my <laughs> genetics. <laughs> I am a tall freak. I, it's okay. It's my genetics too. Small genetics. Let's see here. Uh, I use PlayStation. Uh, have you ever heard of piracy? Yo ho. What no, piracy? Frozen over. What piracy? You can't steal what you technically don't own. What piracy? Listen, listen. We don't do that here. We don't use that word. We are polite members of society. We, we like what's it. in the aquarium. We oink it. We just went fishing. Exactly. We oink it. We, we just went fishing. We just went fishing. Listen, if there is yeah, a, yeah. Here's if, your if there isn't rod. a no yeah. fishing fish. sign there, we built our not, fishing rod. We're, you know, we're not <laughs> technically. I mean, there's no no we fishing. We built our fishing rod and we're going fishing. Yeah, but listen, if they if did not have this the sign there, lionfish. I'm not gonna take your lionfish. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the ocean no. and get my own. We're not breaking the law. All right, my own. All right, exactly. folks. Let's go ahead and Simple. wrap this up. Thank you. Now I don't. Yeah, exactly. Now I don't have any uh, announcements for the rest of the month of February. Um, but uh, we'll do our usual announcements here because Angel. We've had a good we, we had a good continuation, but we're gonna continue our journey in Shadow Moses, right? That is correct. Neither the cold weather, the bloodthirsty soldiers, or Juan's inability to stay hidden for more than sixty seconds <laughs> will stop us from continuing to stop the terrorism. Because- I'm- I I, I I would like to point out I did manage to, to beat the ninja on the first Indeed. try and I went through the first floor of the nuke building without getting spotted. Exactly. But you got Which run is... over by <laughs> several <laughs> times. I mean, to be several fair. Several times. To be fair, but only died once from the tank. To be fair, he's Floridian. Being run over is a constant danger. It happens to the best of us. And more, oh! the, point, more the point, more oh the fact God. and the point, I will have you know the fact that the for some reason this game was trying to keep us from from going live again. This time we were only late by 15 minutes. Very impressive. Which is close to an hour. Mm-hmm. No, no, very impressive. And of course, that means that once again, Mr. Arouse will be holding the controller for the next episode of Los Amigos Play Metal Gear Solid, the, the Twin, Twin Snacks. Snacks. Ah. Crunch. I know, I know. We're, we're I know. snacks. Yeah. Solid. Uh, I acknowledge I mean, that. We are snacks. Okay, Thank I, wa- I walked into that one. Dragon Fang is a snack. Yes, They're both are. very tasty. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. We're not a snack. We're the, the entire fucking dessert. Okay, we're we're the entire the whole dessert meal part. and dessert. Okay, and then. appetizer, too. That's okay, true. I walked into that one. But what yeah, we're not going to be walking yes, is into did. more bullets <laughs> as we continue the journey of finding Maybe. out what those goddamn terrorists want. We rescued an earth. We fought a ninja. Somebody shit themselves to death. Someone also pissed himself. So oh, also pissed it was pretty cool. Twice. And, and I hope that you will join us at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Los Amigos Play, where, as your humble and ever proud host, hopefully we can guide you to some comedy, some shenanigans, some good gameplay, and for once, me being the penal calories is a nice change of pace. And Back where, seat. hang Back on, seat. and where can they see Los Amigos well, Play? Well, of course, they can see that on YouTube and CAC! Exactly. Yeah. All right, then. And, of course, for any pro wrestling fans out there, tune into my program, which is Wrestle Rewind, every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube at Kick, where we review, th- where me and my tag partner, Juan Rouse, we review three of the most exciting professional wrestling programs uh, in North America today. That is WWE's NXT, AEW Dynamite, and TNA Impact. And, uh, it's been, yeah. It's been nuts over the past few weeks, and, uh... Bro, this anime arc is going crazy. It's going crazy. Putting it, yeah, putting it simply, uh, NXT has been ramping up with some interesting uh, stories and and, and uh, exciting matches. Heading into stand and delivery, yep. And well, AEW is gearing up for their uh, pay-per-view event, Revolution, at the beginning of March, which with, will be Sting's final match 
in wrestling. Ha, final. final. Uh, <laughs> and of course, TNA Impact is still getting a lot of momentum from their resurgence in returning back to the three letters that originally made them famous. And uh, aren't they doing a pay-per-view this uh, Friday, No next, Surrender? Next Friday, No Surrender. This coming, no, so not this coming Friday? So not, not, not all right, sorry. Yeah, this coming Friday. Okay, sorry. so yeah, so this coming Friday. Yes. All right, uh, TNA, No Surrender. Okay. Uh, and yeah, no, it's uh, the, the, the matches have been uh, pretty damn good. Indeed. And we're going to be there to talk about all of it every Thursday night. And of course, don't worry, folks. Juan is coming back on Wednesday nights, aren't you? You're goddamn right I am, and that's going to be on my program, The Black Files, the uncensored and uncompromising interview and review podcast of the Ravens Flock. We usually, if you know, if you notice over here, we cover a whole myriad of different stories in, on the Ravens Flock, ranging from uh, from all different facets of the world of nerd uh, worlds of nerd and pop culture. But on the Black Files, we zero in on one story and we go in hard. Whether if we uh, have an amenable take, whether we're pissed off at something, uh, whether it's something that's a little more emotional to us, but you. It's definitely going to be on the less savory side of uh, entertainment and nerd and pop culture. I'm five. I've I've actually got two different things that I want to try to cover, but I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna talk to you guys about it before we actually come to a decision. So after we That's go fine. off the air, That's fine. while we're chowing, we're going to have a little powwow, a little uh, uh, brain session here, and I'm going to fill y'all in on what's go- uh, what the skinny is. But if you want to uh, uh, find out what we're going to be talking about, request access as we go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on uh, simulcasting on YouTube and Kick on my program, The Black Files. And of course, tune into our main show, the number one show on our channel, The Raven's Flock, every Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube and Kick, where we, the Motley Crew of Nerds, will We'll be here to discuss with you the latest news and topics circulating in the world of nerd and geek culture. Whether it's a slow week, a busy week, or even a dead week, uh, no matter how many and no matter how ma- many vacations we take, there's always something to talk about, and we'll be here to share with each and every one of you. And of course, once again, I want to thank all of you for tuning in tonight, especially and being engaging in the comments and in the chats, and it just being world. cool. Everything that we've been doing on this channel, from our shows to simulcasting on different platforms, to our subathons, our watch parties, our con appearances our interviews everything that we've been doing here is all part of our determination from 2013 to make your your voice voice our our mission mission. now with that being said senor juan arouse plug us away don't mind if i do in english please yeah (laughs) you haven't practiced i haven't practiced it in spanish give me a fucking break (laughs) folks thank you very much for watching this week's live stream edition of the raven's flock hosted by jose casabona angel mendes dragon fan cosplay xander rose cosplay special guest appearance from gay store cosplay and yours truly juan arouse as we uh, bring you the latest news in the world of geek culture nerd culture pop culture and everything in between working hard and staying strong to make your voice our mission join us as we go live every saturday night at 7 30 p.m eastern time simulcasting on youtube and kick hit the subscribe and the follow button ring the notification bell to stay up to on all of our content. Become an inner flocker by hitting the join button. And until next time, continue to follow us on Facebook.com slash the Ravens Flock, Twitter.com slash Ravens Flock 13, Instagram.com slash the Ravens Flock Online, Kick.com slash the Ravens Flock, and of course, remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that tiny little notification bell right here on our flagship platform, YouTube.com slash the Ravens Flock, humble home of the Black Files, Los Amigos Play, Wrestle Rewind, and the Ravens Flock. All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in to another exciting edition of our live sh- uh, flagship platform. Nerds watching all over the internet, we are the Ravens Flock, and we are out.